from Doc Griffin's Tee Public store. He's got over 32 different designs, including the Sir Adamantine Urologist background noise to my alcoholism design and the Cadunt fuck my face design. So stop by Doc Griffin's Tee Public store and buy something, damn it. So pretty. And with that, uh, oh, well, you know, all my legs are, are, are down there. Um, I know we really didn't do any type of focus on um, on the uh, boss battle and the Hall of the Immortals. It, it, we've got we got a speed bump that, that, that we're trying to overcome at this point. So please do bear with us. I'm still keeping track. I'm still keeping count. Um, because we have somebody who just uh, rolled past uh, day 10. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the the tenth day. Or weird part, it just might be the, only the second day. So uh, that's that. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm, it's a it's a quagmire. I'm just not getting into it right now. Uh, but yeah, there's a, a ton of fun stuff. By the way, I I, I will tease this. Um, finally figured out for the next set of uh audience uh appreciation prizes finally figured out what it's going to be uh it, they're still going to be uh baseball caps but they're going to be purple and that's all i'm going to say about that except for they're going to be made by our fine friends down in north carolina at the queensboro custom embroidered apparel and um, uh, with that said, I certainly would like to thank everybody who stopped by this evening. That includes Watch, Sir Adamantine, Lou Penguin, a.k.a. the artist, all currently known as Butt Cheeks, 3-4 Shoda, The Full Metal Pickle, XL, TM, that's the Marine one, Evil Dead Ed, Adonis Paul, and of course, Merc. That's only half the cast, but the other half the cast is right there in the chat. Yeah, I'm pointing at you, people in the chat. You also helped to make this a really fun show. We appreciate you for it, and who knows? Maybe one of these days, you might want to come on to the stream, and uh, perhaps we might even make you monkey-ass famous at the chaotic crossroads of the overnight internet. So, for my mystical, magical, malevolent, magnificent... Maleficent, Meow Proof, co-host Kadan, and a All right, man, party. Mm. Oh, shit, what's up, dude? I didn't even know anybody was in here. I've been in here for, like, five minutes. <laughs> My bad, Yoda. I, I literally had it to where I couldn't tell who was in here until people started talking. Did you say anything? Uh, hell no. I'm oh. too inebriated for that shit right now. Word. Accelerate. <laughs> yeah. Talking yeah. is hard. Get my <laughs> ass to start in a conversation this inebriated. Oh, is that recipe for 100% disaster? Duly noted. So, it's hell. You not chilling for Tom P's? Uh, I think they misunderstood. I'm just not really doing much. We're not even... Well... I still do like like me and Tom P still stream. It's just yeah, because I was like, I, not, I, I don't, th yeah, I don't no, think I missed a breaking up point. No, 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 no. It's just like he's busy. I I've been busy. We don't we don't have like a regular schedule anymore. We just kind of and they tried to they tried stuff. to make it seem like on stream that you guys weren't pals anymore. I was like, I'm pretty sure I would have heard about this. Yeah, no, no. That's uh, that's I kind of saw that, but I just I didn't want like he was ending the stream. I didn't want to go on like. Uh, a tangent, you know, like a tangent, just being like, "Oh no, me and Tom P are still friends, and we stream when we can." It's just uh, we don't have like a regular schedule. I mean, definitely check out his channel. He's still putting out good content. Blah 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 blah. blah. Word. Hi Taz. Gotcha. What's up, Taz? No man, I was uh, yeah. I was the person that got Tom P to actually start like really putting out content. <laughs> That is true. Hi, butt cheeks. Hi, Merc. Hi. Hi, uh, Hello, are you other fuckers? I'm Merc, too inebriated to keep up with this shit. I do. 
How are you doing, way, bud? Hey, hey oh, sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me do this. Uh-huh. Stop, bitches. <laughs> hey, Kadan, did you put yes. a limit on the uh, desk now? <laughs> uh-huh. By the okay. way, I am live on my channel. I don't give a shit about anything. Get me banned from YouTube. I don't care. Um, I just, if you guys have opposition to this being recorded, let me know now. Then I will turn it off. God, honestly, honestly, I would have to say yes, just because sometimes it can get uh, a little spicy and perhaps a little bitchy. Well, so yeah, but if any of us, if any of us who are going to get spicy or bitchy have take take issue with that like he'll he'll you know like we we can either dip out or um he can stop like we just need to let him know yeah where are you echoing you should always assume you're being recorded whenever you're on the microphone so yeah we'll i was gonna say i was like i don't think that's gonna fix anything if i stop streaming it's just gonna obfuscate it because you know some motherfucker some because people spicy and bitchy. Because people certainly do love to uh, record you without your knowledge and all that other shit. So just say what? just say what you mean in public and in private, and you'll never have an issue unless it's what? something you know that's you know yeah. you don't want to well, share around. If it's if, if it's, if it's BTS or, or, or inside baseball, then I mean, um, yeah, it's, it's also it's also my little tiny YouTube channel, and I'm just trying to do it because. It's, I've been like I've only put well, a video no. up like once a week. Uh, if shit if shit goes down, man, I will delete the video. Well, well no, no. My, the the, 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 the only thing is, I'm 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 sharing that that warning, uh, uh, just in case it gets uh, a little what's the word I'm looking for acidic. Yeah, because, because they're people, toxic. We, we've toxic. already expressed um, to to the people that 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 we have have heat with. But um, uh, sometimes it might just seem like that that we're just bitching to be bitching. And, I mean, right now we. And, and we and so, would you share a link are. to your channel, please, in the general for me? Yeah, right now we have Evil Dead Ed around. Right, that's about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, 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 I just it up. It's El oh, Jeremy. Okay. Yep. Just, oh, thank you, thank you. Good. Gracias. I know you're subscribed, but it's been a while. I don't do anything. No, it channel. actually unsubbed me. Allegedly. That's weird because, like, I keep going up in subs for no reason. Like, oh, I had, like, I had, like, had under 80 a subs a few weeks ago, and then uh, now, like, I'm up to, like, 242. That's weird. I, I never unsubbed from your channel, but I still have a wrench in your channel. That's odd. Okie dokie. Yeah, well, there was that time period where Tom P's channel was banned, and we had already had like a yeah. decent number of subs come over to my channel, so we were like, fuck it. Well, okay, I gotta ask a question, and I don't care if it's like controversial or what the fuck ever. I just don't really give a shit anymore. Would you like, ask the what, goddamn question? Like, what the fuck is going on with Tom? Uh, I have no issue with them. We were talking right before you joined. I think you, yeah, I, I, I yeah, yeah. I missed. I actually missed uh, what you were getting at, and I kind of saw it. But no, me and Tom, like, I'm still friends with them. It's just we don't have a live stream schedule anymore, and so like I couldn't tell you like when we're gonna stream again. They're still willy friends. Willy. They still they still hang out. There is Itzel is still his uh, bottom bitch, as it were. So it's all good in the hood. He just I, I don't think he he picked up on what you guys were saying on stream because I I heard that when I was listening in the background. I was like, wait, yeah, I'm pretty no, sure I would have heard yeah, if those two dudes weren't friends anymore. Yeah, no, I, I, I they came up because like you're not going to show up for Tom P. And I was like, I mean, I guess I could. youtubecom slash News. I mean, I'm not really, like, doing a whole lot for the channel anymore. Like, I'm not... I, I told him back in November, because I, I said uh, when we first started, like, I'll do this as long as it's fun. And I stopped mm -hmm. having fun with it. So, like, it's not that I don't want to sit there and talk to him about shit. Like, that's that's fine. I just don't... I'm not making graphics for his channels. I'm not making, like, new scenery or anything like that. I'm not spending time in After Effects. I'm you just, also don't want to repeal the 19th. I do want to. Actually, I want to ban voting. I want to go even further. <coughs> Democracy is the guy that failed. 
Uh, me and Tom Pino well, have, have had some great conversations about that one. Well, well, and and, and Excel, the, the the best way I can phrase it is is that when he walked away from the uh, neighborhood, uh, he 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 tried to he tried to be all all smarmy about it and and soak it in gasoline and put a match to it. But uh, I mean, yeah, that sounds like Tom P. He, but but he had wet charcoal, so he he walked away thinking that he did something where he did like completely nothing, but made himself look like an ass. And I feel bad about that. Yeah, that's that's uh, pretty much it. Like uh, maybe I I don't know. Like Tom P. I'm still I'm Tom still P. cool with I'm still really cool with Tom. I'll always like that dude, and I'm still cool with Doc and the Tom, people who come Tom, on his stream most of the time. So. Tom P's Fuck gonna do what team. Tom P's gonna do. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I'm, fr I'm friends There's with no a lot. Him. Well, I I wouldn't say I'm friends, but I associate with a lot of people who don't like All one right. another. And so far, I haven't caught shit from either side really, so I don't care. Yeah. So I'll hang out with who I want to hang out with. So Tom P used to joke about how I was I was his handler, but the way I always dealt with Tom P is instead of saying "Don't do something," I just like said, "Oh yeah, totally do that," and this is how it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you just say don't do something, he's gonna fucking do it. Right. Well, and and um, uh, TM, you're, you're you're still friends with uh, Killing Joke, right? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I mean, I don't, I haven't talked to the dude in forever since I fucking had my Twitter yeeted from a certain yeah. from a certain tribe of people who got super butt hurt. But uh, yeah, no, I, I haven't talked to him in God months. I know. I, I I know. Matt. He still stays in touch with him, like he stays in touch with uh with, with Antoine. Isn't that right, Addy? <coughs> oh, uh, uh, he picks this. Uh, uh, so sorry for the delay. Fuck the killing joke. <laughs> uh, I I I greatly look forward to the killing stroke. <laughs> <laughs> That's. That's awful, Addy, man. Why would you say that? It is awful. Shit. Yeah. Hey, well, way, man, who, why, why would he say that? Because he's yeah. sir, maintained. Maybe, maybe Excel, but it, but, yeah. but it comes from the heart. It All comes right. from Sir Addy. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's not right. His cold, cold, pickled heart. <laughs> so everybody, 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 every, <laughs> thought, everybody stop I, talking I for a second because I want to isolate this from. problem. Am I really loud? Yeah. Not super loud to me, but... You I probably have, my have everything turn. set up. So who is echoing me? It is Doc. Uh, yeah, it's, it's probably me. I'm down at. Uh, I, I took the cans off. I'm down at like volume twenty on my yeah, speakers. Yeah, hold on. Let me. I'll just, oh, and, I'll oh, and, my, I'll and by the way, pickle. I meant. I meant oh, no, pickle. No, 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 no. I can. As in, I can like, solve this uh, easily. Okay. Night, y'all. What? Oh, oh. Bye, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck just happened? I didn't. He's wanna... already planning to leave. Has it? Was. Oh man, that makes me feel real fucking shitty because I was just bitching about hearing an echo every time I talked. But yes, Sir Adamantine's heart is pickled, and in the sense of it being pickled in alcohol for so long. Hey, hey look at the bright side. If I say I like you, you don't need to wonder if I mean it. Because if I don't, you'll know. Sir Adamantine, do you like me? Only if you're not hot. I love you, Maureen. Okay. I don't. I don't believe that at all. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> but yeah, dude. I don't know. Like, I just I go where the fuck he wants to see you naked. Just calm down. Well, that's with every guy, but still, I don't. Uh, well, mostly every guy. I should preface that. Mostly every guy. He but doesn't nah, want to see Scooby naked. Exactly. Wow. But uh, nah, dude. I just I chill with whoever I, whoever wants to chill with me. I don't give a shit. Like, especially since I lost a Twitter. I don't get involved in people's uh, like I have no idea what e dramas are going on. So if I, if someone's been cool to me, I'll be cool to them. And if I talk to them, I talk to them. If I don't, I don't. I don't get in this whole little high school bullshit. Like you can't hang out with the greasers, man. You can't hang out with the preps or the socias or whatever the fuck. I don't do that shit anymore. Oh, you allegedly. I mean, there's only certain people that oh, I don't oh, like, that's and that's pretty is. well known. What is that list, and has it been expanded since the last time we've really spoken on it, TM? Nope. Still the same people. And who would that be, sir? Still the old uh, fucking uh, <laughs> uh, 
what what are they called now? Jungleites. Yeah, yeah, whatever the fuck. Those those dudes uh, and the Scooby Tribe and people that associate with that dude. That's about it. Honestly. AKA Spurgy faggots. Yeah, that's about it. I've just been hit by inspiration again, but for a different part. Oh Jesus! Nice. <laughs> oh Jesus! I was nice. thinking, actually, butt cheeks, when you were um, talking about the the whole premise of this thing. Yeah. Like you know, um, the lobster. It's the lobster and the Little Mermaid, right? The red dude, Sebastian. Uh, Sebastian, yes. Yeah. Like you could do a premise. Like I was thinking of a premise of like BR Cuck, BR <laughs> Cuck. Oh, that's, the... oh, that's um, Beauty and the Beast of um, what the f- air and stuff of be our guest. Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot. Fuck no, yeah. he doesn't see that. He it's the. Uh, I think it might be the under same the voice sea. Art. Under the sea. Under the hut. Under <laughs> yes. the hut. Under <laughs> the gun. If you can write it. Under the gun. <laughs> you have to look. For that song, Maybe and write a parody. <laughs> that is my challenge for you. <laughs> I ain't doing no work. Damn, like this is this is challenged. y'all's this is y'all's uh, pet project, and I <laughs> wish you well on it. And I think it's a great concept, but I don't want to. No, no. I don't want to interfere. Tim, you've been challenged. You wouldn't you be interfering. You'd be taking part. You'd be helping us. Because there's only do, so much we can do. Are you gonna do the Rick Astley parody? Because if so, man, I I, I got it, man. Let me sing it. <laughs> Rick Jim, are you gonna to the plate, or are you gonna, are you gonna be, are you, or are you gonna pull a Dark Ninja? Don't be a Dark Ninja. Be a Tam. No, nah, I just I I can't sing, and I'm not that creative when it comes to writing lyrics. So I don't want to fuck it up or even attempt to do that. So. Oh my god. I feel like no, I used to be good that... at writing songs, but... Uh, I was I was gonna say, I just got inspired, but it's technically... It's not even an original, like, Disney song, let alone an original DreamWorks song. Um, Ooh, what is it? <clears throat> what did you do? I need a hero. And it'll be a song that Scooby it. sings to Dark Side. It, it or Dark takes a hero. Dark, no, no, no. It's Dark Track. Ninja. Track. Yes. We want him to do and hero. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and by the way, since Merc is back, <laughs> Merc, dude, I ain't talked to you in forever. How are you doing, homie? I've missed you. Oh, I'm fucking he's great. Man. He, Shit is going to be fucking. Oh, my God. Uh, despite the fact that I'm in quarantine, but. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but things are going fucking great. That's awesome to hear, man. I've, yeah. I've recently been doing pretty damn good myself. I bought a bought a house, three bedroom, two bath. I quit drinking and yeah, just trying to make a little bit of uh, side money, even though we're all in lockdown status and bullshit, which well, I'm able to do. There you go, man. There you go. I miss, there you go. I miss going to work. I never thought I would say that. Oh my god! Right? I do Jesus not do. Christ. If this was like honestly, if it wasn't for the lockdown, I'd have already probably started a couple of projects that would have been paying a couple grand each. But now with everyone, you know, tightening their belt and not, you know, really hiring contractors and shit like that, it's kind of hard. So I've just been cutting trees and doing random, random fucking manual labor jobs, but still pretty decent money, but not as not up to par what I'm used to, but. Yeah, yeah. Oddly enough, the thing is, right now, you want to completely get away from the people you've been living with and go back to work so you can have your quote unquote alone time. But what? There seems to be an awful lot of red in this. Like, yeah, dude, I switched my <laughs> fucking avatar to this with the gas mask, and a lot of people took after me. Like Ed, I know Ed did. He and uh, I think Darkstar <laughs> did too. We all had a fucking quarantine gimmick going on there for a bit. All my homies. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is actually a bloody pick from Overlord. Mm-hmm. Like have a dude missing his face. I dig it. Mm-hmm. This dude, is just ran- a I just, horrible, I just like. My favorite colors have always been red and black, and I just looked up a gas mask picture and saw this, and I was like, oh, yeah, that works. Dude, Danny, I get it. I'm an old-school maggot fan. Old-school Slipknot, red and black. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I feel you on that, 100%, bro. Like, I'm still pushing my fingers into my eyes. 
Hell yeah. But nah, dude, that's great to hear, Merc. I'm I'm happy for you, dude. I'm sorry. Now 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 I've got fucking now now, now I've got it in my head. Why why did you put that song in my head? I'm sorry. Was it was it baby shark? Do, 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 do. <laughs> no, I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, um, for a certain baby shark, the challenge is out there. Like the the dude was trying to dox me, and like I'm not forgetting it. Shark, Ed, let me tell you I love something. How the whole baby shark thing is just stuck for Dog Ninja now. <laughs> yeah, it has. It really has. I just called him the Dog Ninja of trolling just to be I, a little. I know, Danny. Um, then you give me some further insight and like some good knowledge. Like I shouldn't care. I really don't care because he won't do anything. But like I'm just saying, like the challenge is out there, Ninja. Oh, I know, dude, but I'm gonna tell shit. you, dude. Why I've been on. Like, here's the thing, dude. I've been on the internet now for about three-ish years or something like that, talking in this side of the internet, and dude, like, no one's gonna fight anybody. No one's gonna show up. It's not gonna fucking happen. I know. I it's know. just what? not. Hold up, man. Like, here's the thing. And Andy Worski oh, showed up. <laughs> yeah, he's the only fucking one. He's the only guy. <laughs> well, here's, here's the thing. Like, okay, like, threaten me in DMs. That's one thing. You threaten to dox me. That's one thing. But once you start getting into bullfrog ter territory of my children, you're essentially attacking my family. And most men have a certain way of feeling about that. I understand that. And I agree with it 100%. But it's still, it's still, I, I get the rage and the paternal instinct to defend what's yours. And that's how every man should be. But if they won't fight you, them threatening your family is just a, of douchebag moves to pull because they ain't gonna, you know, actually hurt them either. So, yeah, I get it. And like, don't get me wrong, dude. I show up in my cups and I threaten to rape Ninja and make him a woman on a stream for about 45 minutes. I'm aware. I what listened to the clip. Why the fuck is doing anything right now? Why don't you just go pay him a short visit, get a short vacation out of it, and have fun with it and videotape it and use it? For the time funny time. thing is that I could. I really don't want to. I'm not that mean a guy. Like, well, I don't, yeah, don't want to spend it. I don't, I don't want to go to jail in a different state. I'm, I'm not a big fan Thought of has jail crossed in a my state. mind. Like, you know, oh, I know it has yours, really, Burke. I could. I could, but I'm not that mean of a person. I'm actually a very nice guy, especially when I'm sober. So you're you're nice. you're a nice guy when you're drunk too. Just a little bit hard to understand, but it's 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 Ed drunken knees, and I'm starting to be kind of fluent in it. So uh, drunken knees and toes, knees and toes. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's 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 Merkinese. That's I think I strong. think Ed's drinking problem is so like I'm gonna drink a lot. You guys like heard me on stream plenty of times. Me completely too. fucking <laughs> wasted. Like right now, I'm at like six out of ten, but I have an off button. Like an off time. Like I get so drunk, eventually I'm just gonna leave and go to sleep. Ed does not have yeah. that. He can keep going. No, no. I, I, I turn that bitch right like now. Spinal Tap. It goes <laughs> up to 11. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Ed will keep drinking and drinking and drinking until, like, ah, he has no off switch. Whereas, like, me and it sell and some other people I know who drink or at least used to drink heavily. I, I don't do that anymore. Not for any not for any reason besides I'm just busy, mostly, and wanted to get in better shape so that way I could work more efficiently at, at my manual labor job, but yeah, I, I get drunk and I just want to go to sleep and cuddle up and I don't know, lick pussy or something. <laughs> you know, hey, so. bring you up two questions, Danny. How is um, the new house going and clearing the land? And for my case, um, that's why I make quick ventures into late night streams where I'm like, I got one thing to say and then I got to go. Word. I well, I don't clearing the land. I, swear, clearing I, the land. I love you on streams most of the time. I guess I, I, do I, haven't, too. I haven't dealt with. Uh, you being drunk beyond belief, I don't think. I just think I've happened to miss that. Because that's what everybody says Same. about you. Is that you? Have a lot of people have dealt with me drunk beyond belief. That's why I keep telling Ed, like, if he th if he thinks he's done anything bad, like I've done it before and way worse on stream. So, but yeah, man, the clearing the land stuff that's going great. Uh, it's it's one of those things to where I'm refurbishing the house. Like it's it's livable in right now. I just want to make it more mine and give a little bit of TLC to it. You know, if that makes oh, sense. Yeah. Yeah. But the things that I need to buy and the stuff that I'm not able to do as far as carpentry, construction, 
landscaping, those type of things are kind of on hold wait, wait, until no, businesses serious, open up a little bit more. Serious question. So are you trying to, to put a red light special in there for hookers <laughs> or are you trying to no, add a no. waterfall thing to your landscaping? No, no. It's just, it's uh, it's a really beautiful house. It's been taken care of really. It, it really has been, but there's just, it needs, I don't know, just, not full out refurbished, but just a little bit of TLC, you know, just a little bit of cleaning, you know, maybe I'm going to recarpet yeah, that, a couple of that's places. That's what I was talking about, the TLC. You either need, a, you need a red light special or some waterfalls. <laughs> no, no, no. no. I mean, this uh, is like the shit he needs. Like, this, he's living the American dream, which I wish more of us can reach to. I really do. Like, Danny right here, TM, is reaching the American dream, which, like, he has his home, he has his land. Yeah. He what he wants. That's it, right yeah, there. yeah, I not, not home, a lot. I got no land. Well, so not a lot of people can say that they own their own land and their own house by the time they even before they even reach thirty. So that right. is, it's pretty nice. I'm yeah. kind of proud of myself, but it's been a huge financial, you know, dip into my savings, so to speak. But it, like I said, dude, all the shit that I need to do is sort of on other people's time because the things that I need to either buy or have put into my house like i can i can recarpet pretty decently but shit like buying the carpet and stuff like that i don't i'm not able to do because of you know not being able to buy like non-essential items and bullshit like that yeah that is some right. bullshit we need just left that man we need to do the, my, the tm town. go fund me uh no yo, I, no, no, no 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 tennessee okay. tennessee marine cribs <laughs> like that, I just get, gonna, I just get, I just get, I get like yeah, the like Dave Chappelle, show, like, like, the, it, like the like the Dave Chappelle show. I get like a fur coat and like, what's up, you broke motherfuckers? Welcome to <laughs> yeah, you, you, just, like, you ask for money for shit that nobody should have in their house, right? And if, if people are actually willing to give you money for that, it's not even. Like, that's their problem, not yours. You know, on, a, yeah. on a personal level, if I can buy TM carpet and afford it right now, because carpet's expensive as shit, he taught me how to shoot, I would take it up in a heartbeat. Well, I appreciate the offer, guys, but I've got enough money. It's it's not a lack of funds. It's a lack of being able to get people to come and, you know, recarpet a few places or buy a new, like, you know, uh, fucking oh, hot water Lord. heater or shit like that. I love I love doing carpeting projects. It's been a long time. I bought a house up in Flint and recarpeted it once. In Flint, Michigan. Yeah. How yeah. I water? mean, re like I said, it's not that I can't recarpet it myself. It's just buying it and getting it shipped to my new house and stuff like that. So it's it's not a lack of funds or a lack of an inability to actually, I don't know, do the repairs or maintenance myself is just not being able to physically buy it or get it shipped to my house so well, um, well i have two questions like um merc like how's the uh, plumbing in flint is it flint michigan oh dude this is way 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 before this whole shit went down and um for danny like um oh, hello bunny back when the tropics were a basketball team <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the plumbing in that house though was shit because the guy, the, who, uh, the guy who owned it prior, fucking uh, yeah. would dump paint down the drains. That's where it was going. Oh what fuck! fuck? So, ooh, yeah, mm, that's that's not good. I mean, I've lived by myself for years now, ever since most of you have met me. So. Yeah, I, it's just I I wanted a bigger house and more space and in a nicer area, so. But it is what it is. It'll get Damn. taken care of. It just all this fucking COVID lockdown, stay at home, blah blah blah. Is just put a fucking it. It turns simple things that I have enough money to do into having to wait on other people to open up the business or whatever. It's just a pain in the ass. But. Man, I've been putting my fucking money in the stock market. I got pretty fucking lucky because I sold a whole bunch of shit right before this happened. It's so great I'm, 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 still, I'm still well, yes, well up, hurting. but like, I'm just like, God, dude, I'm like sick of putting money. Like, I have money in savings and shit, but my, my whole plan, I'm like, I'm trying really fucking hard to not have to have to work ever again. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm not I'm even good, close. I only, I only got like 3% of the way there. And well, if it was up to me and, and shit would have worked out and this whole fucking stay-at-home bullshit wouldn't have happened, I would have already had my house done and completed 
fucking pimped out the way I want it pimped out and fucking I'd be going back to college. But now I have to take care of this property in this house. So it's, uh, it's put man, a damper on my plans. You're getting your shit just right is just it's 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 a thing, man. I love it. Well, I took some advice. Um I took some advice from Pinoid and I took some advice from Addy. I'm actually seeing a lot of gains now when it comes to my four one K and my saving plan. The only problem is when it comes to buying the house, currently I am cash broke. All my money is put up in between savings, four one Ks and other investments. I understand that. Oh, I'm, I'm that, I was I was very lucky that I was able to save up the vast majority of last summer's fucking projects and carpentry and construction work and able to buy this outright because yeah, I mean yeah, it's man. mine. I'm not I'm not paying anybody back. I I owe a little bit to the bank, but not enough to where it would you know financially fuck with me for the rest of my life. But just enough to where I'd have to make payments on it, or I currently do. But I'll take care oh, of that yeah, in less than a month. So, see, that's what I'm waiting for. Is when they they have to open up the economy soon enough, and they're to. gonna pull me back to work. Yeah, and when they pull they me back to, to work, shit, dude, there's yeah, gonna be well, overtime. Tons dude, I, overtime. I, I'm not one of these people. Like, I don't give a fuck about Trump bucks. I don't want to sit on my ass and do nothing and get paid for it. I want to go back to work. Like, I, dude, I enjoy, I, I enjoy being about like about. 20 pounds lighter and being nothing but abs and tattoos and tan in the summertime because I work outside all the fucking time. And this is pissing me the fuck yeah, off well, that I'm not able to. I was see some dumb shit about. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm getting my unemployment and I'm getting sub pay and I, I got early on that shit and I beat the fucking whole deadline crisis before like everything went to hell over unemployment. And I'm getting that shit. But even then, like, dude, I completely agree with you, Danny. I want to go back to work. Like, like it might be some manufacturing bullshit job, but, like, I take pride in the transmission I build. I take pride in the transmission I repair. I want that go in the car and, like, push a family along for 300,000 miles Well, that's miles the difference between a man and a fucking, and a fucking slave. Like, the, I've said this before on other streams, even on Addy's stream, and I think I said this on Doc's stream. Uh, like a lot of people in this country, the scary thing about it is a lot of people just want to sit on their ass and collect, say, you know, a thousand, two thousand bucks a month and not do <coughs> shit and not go to work yeah, and not do that, anything. That whole yeah. live free or die attitude that we're supposed to have as Americans has been, been disrupted by years and years of fucking the welfare state. Well, like here, like, we're, uh, just, uh, we're uh, just use of the government taking care of everything. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna say a very thin line on this subject. I'm gonna try a very thin line. I understand like the fears people have about this virus. I understand that. But my general belief is creating a next great depression is gonna hurt a whole lot more people than this virus ever will hurt. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, for anyone who's hopped in, we are streaming on its sales channel and the link is in the general of this Discord. Yeah, we got we have Victor von Frankenstein in there. Uh, one thing that's yeah, dumb about the fucking Trump, the Trump bucks, uh, this is what I'm I won't get to say. it. I've made too much money. Yeah, no, no, like, Thanks I got well. it. I didn't make that much money, but I got the money, but I still have a job. Like, I'm still making a decent amount of money. Like, I work, I work for an essential business, uh, is what they say. I work from me home too. every fucking day now. And they, gave, like me, they gave me the fucking $1,200. I didn't need it. Like, I mean, I put up my savings account. I don't know what's going to happen, because if they keep doing this, like, my company might have to do fucking layoffs at the end of this, right? But for I'm, now, I'm, I'm just sorry putting it all in, that. I'm going to put it all in fucking savings, and... Like, my, um, for the Trump bucks and my social, my tax return, all went to back child support, so I'm getting nothing. No, we, <sighs> yeah. we, we have a Ryan himself. Yeah, for Trump bucks, too. I might get 200 Hey, bucks. what's up, Ryan? It's been forever, dude. Good to see you. I like that guy. Uh, how do ah, I leave? Nice. I can't Ryan. leave him to the server. If anybody can link Ryan to the server, like, I'm sure he would join to talk if he's up at this hour. Um, can I divert the conversation for a second before I step out? Sure. Um, hey, um, butt cheeks, you know why he's mm -hmm. asking for your picture in AP server, right? He wanted to dox you. Pardon? Dark Ninja, um, your picture. One of the dark yeah. Mm. yeah, I know. I think he just wanted something to fap to. He, he does. Um, he's a classic e simp. 
and he sends for anyone online, even though he's married and has a child. I'm not going to give him more information than that because I'm a nicer guy than he is. But like, yeah, he's married and has a child. Yeah, I was. I'm certain that he's just asked asked for my but, pictures. We by the way, figure out how to dox me. Uh, for the people like me and uh, Victor who got money that they didn't really necessarily need, like they're one of the lucky ones that uh, did not get laid off for their jobs because they're an essential business, and you still got the check. Uh, my advice is spend it at local businesses for things that you want or need. Yep. Or well, um, for yep. you and Victor, you guys need transmission work. I need work. No. Nope. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it goes back to what I was saying earlier, man. Like a lot of people nowadays are just perfectly fine, just sitting at home, sucking off the government tit and ordering fucking Papa John's and not doing a goddamn thing with their lives. I need to work or I go fucking crazy. Like that's why, I, honestly, yeah. I drink so much in the winter time because I don't get a lot of work and I just sit and fucking set in my house and you know you can only bang fucking random college bitches from the bar for so long before that even gets in the like, uh, Danny, like I'm your personal oh, I like do I agree you, with you like man I love you, you know this shit I lost recently I, I do fuck it I put this all on fucking private stream or in public stream Danny like I agree with you a hundred per fucking percent like well, I'm not working I lose my entire weight mm-hmm I, like I'm gonna be one of those guys. Like if I ever turn, if I, which I doubt I will, but if I do live to be 80 or 90, that's what will kill me. Not a disease, not cancer, not anything else. Just if you put if you put me in a fucking nursing home and I can't do like hard manual labor or something like that, you might as well just put me out in the woods and let me wander until I die of exposure or something. Yeah, dude, I agree completely. Like that's actually like a, we we talk personally. We talk personally, no. Alec. I know this is on a public stream. I know it's all live stream, but like I'm just like you said, like dude, if I say it in personal, I say it. In, I say it. In, I say it in public. I lose my shit when I don't have a motivation and I don't have a goal, a purpose, at my, a yes. purpose. Yeah. And like, actually, it's funny with this whole COVID nineteen thing. I see people talking about taxes are theft, and then they turn around and say, "Core TV daddy." Yeah. Yeah, I I will never rely on big daddy government to try to protect me or safeguard me. It's, That's it's, something. It's, it's, it's a fucking lack of imagination. If the same thing was going on in a free society, like a truly free society, people would self-organize and they would make things work, right? They would find yeah. the happy medium because guess what? Losing your fucking job and being broke for two months, that kills people too. Oh yeah. Well, I think I lot, said man. this on uh, on another stream I was on. It's it basically it's at this point with them shutting down our economy. It's like okay, sit at home and starve to death, or go outside and catch the COVID. That's that's one of your two options, or possibly get locked up and have a five thousand dollar fine and a year in jail because you're a non essential worker and you didn't have the papers. You didn't have the correct papers to be able oh. to go and. You know, freely move from one city to the nets or one state to the nets. It's fucking ridiculous, dude. Uh, uh, I just, I just really, bullshit. really fucking hate mm. the the people out there that are sitting there being like, yeah, people that believe in like freedom and liberty and shit like that. They, they're the problem now, and this is how we can prove it. Is, <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it turned it turned from "Don't step on me" to "Please give me money." Yeah, I know. I mean, yeah. apparently, apparently, Patrick Henry said, "Give me liberty or don't." Like you if it's, <laughs> give, if give it's, me liberty, if it's, or if it's give for public sa safety, like don't, then like I'll just give it up. Dude, fucking was... give me, give me liberty, or give me my uh fucking stolen money back in yeah. small Dude, amounts. I'm saying this is American, you guys. Like, yes, please go ahead. I have to tell Gudun one thing that her parody yes. that she's just written in it... the work of progress text thing. Yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, Kadant, do you have a uh, do you have the ability to uh, or or do you think Doc would mind if uh, people from its cell stream join this Discord? Uh, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't. Uh, they just have to go through the same kind of vetting uh, process. Ryan, uh, Ryan himself, do you know him? No. Dude, he's a he's a he's a, he's a well gang that. member. He's, he's probably a power good. guy. He's a good. I dude. like your vetting process. Especially, don't be an asshole. Yeah. Like you you'll know the rules just uh at me 
and and since you're listening, I'm guessing you're listening in the chat. At me in the nine one one channel, <coughs> and then well, say, I, uh, could, you know, like, could you, you share me? the link, pretty please, to the Discord and its cell stream, stream, madam? Uh, uh, I will make this <coughs> one exception. Now, uh, real quick though, I'm going to uh. Because I usually try not to share the link. I, I like to be careful about that kind of stuff, uh, just because you never know. Understand. Um, it okay. will be a yeah. very timed link. Uh, -a -dink -a -dink. Like I get it. Like um, so not, like I'm gonna start a new Discord soon for voice actors. You want to mm -hmm. do some creep process? I have I'm 16 down. unrecorded videos that get released. I re re record. I got a new mic today. I'm actually giddy. <laughs> I'm very giddy. I'm very excited. But I am. I am making this pretty much a um a thirty minute link. So as soon as as soon as I post it, y'all got about right, half an hour. Okay. Well, understandable. Uh, thank you, thank you. By the way, Kadant, I appreciate it. Test. Like I go see what Kadant posts. Like she's just posting. Like you posted for Doc, right? Um, well, I can't post it yet, I don't think. Because you ain't got a wrench, it's so get on that shit. Wrench this chick. It's okay. It's okay. It's it's okay. It apparently up. unsubscribed me from yeah, you anyway. Yeah. So. You, have, you have a wrench now. It unsubscribed me from itself as well. well like, um, I'm going to start a new Discord soon. And like I'm going to send out invites. <laughs> Personal invites, they have to come from me. There's going to be moderators uh, there. Why are you not letting me post the fucking link, you little shit? I just gave you moderator. I know, it's not letting me... Fuck. Let's see. Give me the link. Uh, you guys still so got me as E-Daddy. <laughs> yeah, no, Discord. it's not. It, it wants to be a little little shit. Hold on, uh, let me get to you. Well, I do appreciate to you. you making the exception, Kadon. Thank you. No, I even found for today with my, the with my, my, my pronouns. No one's ever gonna take the no. dog down. She's the best! She's the best! No one's gonna ever keep me down. She's the best! Around! And no one will keep the dog down. She's the best! Around! Okay, 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 okay. Hey, hey, Ed, right. Ed. Ed. I guess to have ears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. It's a good thing I'm partially deaf. <laughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of a shriek right now. Just have his voice mods. He had a little tism there for a sec. It's okay. He's I did. Back to normal. I did. I did. Uh, allow uh, me to derail once again. Um, butt cheeks. Uh -huh. you 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 already read the thingy. Yes. I'm trying to remember if there's more to the song other than the repeat of the chorus. Yeah, I'm trying to remember gave, it as well. I gave the only Ryan... thing you would probably find out is if we found the song and listened to right, it. All right, hold up. I gave I'm Ryan sure. a link, but don't you have another layer of security where he has to get past the uh, the 9-11 room? Well, yes, and like, that's why I told him he has to at me. And I uh, just... what I need you to do is when you at me, and I'm going to do this, I'm going to talk to you live on stream, so keep listening to the stream for now. But when you first at me, You'll just tell me, um, Kadunt, you're the best around. And when I, I see that, I, I will then that. ask you to uh, send me a certain emoji. Ain't nothing ever gonna keep me down the best <laughs> around. Whack, whack. Bop you on the head. Bop you on the head. <laughs> Can I just say I, that I love how excited Kadunt and Butt Cheeks are about the whole parody thing? Oh. Bun Bun, how do you feel about singing? I feel awful about it. <laughs> if you guys need me to sing, I'll sing in a heartbeat. We know. Heartbeat. We're aware. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, everyone's aware, but I will sing in a heartbeat. Could uh, you need me to sing? She really doesn't. Uh, I'll answer for her on this. And <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the eight yes. people that are actually in my stream, I'm pretty sure seven of them or in, in this uh discord thank you hey. thank you thank you for giving my my shitty little channel some views that i don't do anything with but i always am thinking about doing something with 
Hey, Bye, Sal, um, how's the um, Doom going? Wait, what game? What? No, I, I, I found you a walkthrough for Doom. Just specifically uh, for you. How's uh, it going? No, no, no. I, I watched that. What's funny is uh, there's an even easier way to get through that little part. Uh, I please I no spoilers. Through, I'm I'm halfway through it, but I was uh, about to say please Jas no spoilers. Yeah, Jassy has been streaming it, and I've just not been watching. Like I've just been listening through the entire thing. Yeah, Gasly is a little like he's a a cunt hair away from where I am because I'm at the point now where you go to like the Sentinel home world and it like he, you're about to get no, in an arena he, he, or some he, shit. He beat it last night, and then we started playing poker. Yeah. Oh god damn it! Well, I got a lot Dude, of catch. Um, me, me and I like Gasly. I like Gasly. I like Gasly. But I'm gonna say, like, on your open tip, fuck Gasly, dude. Like, do Doom. Uh, that's some exciting shit. It's like yeah, breathtaking. It, it, sure. On your like level shit. Honestly, I want to talk about like uh, political stuff on my channel because I it really is there's not that much of it, and I think I have a unique uh, take. Even with Tom Pinoy, like we talk about it for a little bit, but. We get derailed like halfway through our streams right now. So I'm going to talk about that stuff on my channel and then maybe do like a little bit of gaming, but maybe not, probably not a lot. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I really enjoyed your like Doom stream. I really did. And I, I was fucked up. You're fucked up too. Oh, yeah. I, I was, was fucked up. I was done so. Oh, yeah, dude. We we're both like, dude, like we we're both too drunk to be around the internet. <laughs> no such thing. The best time to be on the internet. Such like I've I found several examples where you're too drunk to be on the internet. Yet again, Ed, everything you think you've done, I've done way worse. I promise you. <laughs> like Danny, even here, like dude, like uh, DM here. Like, uh, we like, have DM better, like you can tell us, like young, uh, as dumb fucks, <laughs> dumb fucks, like how it is. Like, but like, dude, you're like uh, your game stream was really enjoyable, and I really enjoyed it. Hey, hey, uh, TM, remember that mm -hmm. time whenever we all hung out with Tonka and we were just kind of in a channel together, and then we, we had the late night stream with, like, me, you, Tonka, and Failure? I remember that, yeah. I remember. I remember. Yeah. Hey, can I, can I just say really quick to the eight people, well, seven, not including myself, uh, watching, there's only five likes on this stream, you little shits, you should... Fucking oh. push the like button. Oh, thank you, Kadunt, for shilling my channel that I don't do anything with or give a shit. Best co-host ever. You rock. I, mean, I love you. Sometimes. <laughs> She's like, sometimes. That's right, bitch. Work the shaft. Oh, I'm sorry. I like to dirty talk with Whoa. somebody oh, wait, sucking wait, wait, my wait. dick. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna derail this completely. Has anybody else been digging deep for shit to watch during this quarantine nonsense? No, nope. yes. I've went down a couple of rabbit holes. Yeah, for sure. I did a, a there was a show apparently came out in 2016 with Dennis Leary called Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll. <laughs> there was a lot to be desired. I think you could have done it better, but it's still not bad. So I recommend that one, especially if you like uh, the whole idea of what uh, rock and rollers do. I mean, basically, it was just a bunch of people that did drugs and fuck each other and created a bunch of drama, <laughs> which so... is exactly like bands. What I normally do in the winter time. Okay. Yep. Yeah. This is yeah, like my out. every day. My uh, every the only, day. The only rabbit the hole I've been in lately is like tech repair. I've watched like tons of fucking tech repair videos. That's pretty yeah, cool. I do yeah, think I that a lot of people are missing out on this opportunity to like better themselves and improve themselves a little bit, like learning how to do shit that they've always been interested in. Because I mean, what the fuck else are you doing I, right now? I spent yeah, my. Doing it while working. I spent my entire afternoon doing a ship in the bottle Lego thing. Nice. Look, um, Danny, like I, I, I applied all my industrial experience to the home experiences. Today I've changed out two outlets, electro outlets, because like they don't hang right and they burn out. And um, I'm about to crawl into a crawl space tomorrow. I might have to call Plumber to do this. But crawl, crawl space tomorrow. Ryan and himself is saying my can't message. Hold on, let, me, let me see if I can get this uh, worked out on Discord. Good dog, you still here? Uh, yes, I am. Right, plus. My friend. Testies. No, no, darling. Um, 
uh, Ryan, I believe it is, please, uh, in the 911 section of the Discord, you should be able to see that. You should be able to at me there just fine. I mean, if it becomes a super big issue, I believe mostly everyone in here is in Tom P server. If like it, it, like I'm pretty sure if it sell jump from one VC to or one Discord to another, you would still stay uh, streaming. Right? No, yeah, I don't have anything set up uh, for yeah. the actual voice channels. It's just playing through my desktop audio. Hey, I want to apologize to you while you're here, man. I'm for sorry what? about being really drunk on your stream the other night. Oh no, that was awesome. <laughs> I, don't I don't remember any of it. Any of it. Any of it. Ed, Ed, let me, that let me was, tell you. No, that Ed. was like a couple nights ago, and I was just like, hey, I'm bored. Let's stream. And uh, like Ed was like, hey, I'm too drunk to be on the stream. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. Let's go. Ed, and you were talking shit to gaming. It was great. I loved it. Yeah. Um, Ed, dude, let, me, let me tell you something. Ed. Ed. I'm listening. Danny. Okay. Let me tell you something. If you piss someone off while you're drunk, I promise you they will let you know. Yes. And if they and if they and if they don't, just you know, chalk it up to oh, I was drunk and I don't remember, so everything must be cool. Fuck it. <laughs> like, Yolo. I stream a cell the other night where like I don't remember anything, and like I woke up and I I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'm, fuck it. I pissed my pants that night. That's how drunk I was. I pissed my Whoa. fucking pants. He pissed his pants, God. Oh, dude. <laughs> Yo, Can I interrupt again? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, sir. please. Kadunt, there's one more verse. Second call. In your parody. Thank you. And then after that, it's just like a repeat. Hey. The... And I just like, want to let you know, the only person that managed... And the only person that... And I just want to let you know, the only person that's ever managed to piss me off on the internet is actually Scooby. And it wasn't because of the first time, or the second time, or the third time, or the fourth time, or the fifth time. It was like the seventh time that he threatened me with fucking FBI bullshit that I finally was like, no. all right, I'm fucking done. <laughs> I am so fucking... Like, this shit is well, fucking insane, and I want right. to... I just want to give you that apology, because, like, dude, I had Floyd of all people, like, Floyd. You know Floyd, right? Yeah. yeah. I had Floyd get a hold of me, like, hey, you all right, homie? Because he saw that stream. <laughs> yeah, no. <clears throat> like, no dude, look. Bonnie. Yeah, he's like, he, he's like, you drinking that much? Like, I, I like, I like Floyd. He, I think he's a good guy. He just, he's misunderstood, but like, I like him. But like, I've had him go to hold me and like, like, hey, you, you jack drunk? <laughs> so. Oh, I believe uh, Pickle was trying to talk to Bonnie. No, oh, I yes. just said Bonnie is what I said. Oh, That's who Bonnie. Yeah. <laughs> He's oh, okay. Uh, at the same oh, time, hey, Kajan, have you been able to explain to Ryan himself how to get into the stream? He's he is currently in the nine one one. Ryan, you have to at me and say you're the best around. <laughs> Just at K A D U N T Y. Oh, oh, Ryan, go through all that. Ryan's oh, good people. No, what, all he has to do is speak truth. Easy. I I just I I just need him to do this so that I know it's the same one listening to the stream. I'm stupid paranoid because of the fact we've had like triples of somebody's account try and yeah. come into yeah. like try and come into the Discord before, no. and it was like bot bot you know f like fake accounts and shit like that. And I'm like, no, nah. <laughs> there's a reason I, uh... why. Like, Doc's Take just like, Katat, handle this shit. Yeah. I don't know who that's these why people you, are. I'm that's like, why you gotta get fucking assholes. Like, AP has, like, Giga Nigga being an admin in this channel. Like, you wouldn't think Dude, that's Giga a good idea. Okay. No, you wouldn't think it's a good idea just because of the way Giga <laughs> acts, but he fucking knows, man. He could snuff that shit out in a heartbeat. He will ban Giga those is motherfuckers okay. so quick. I'll, I'll say Giga is okay. Giga is okay. As long as he's not sending pictures of animal abuse. Or shit, I don't want to fucking see. Yeah. I like you. I do. I like you. Send I really me. Do. Hold on, Brian. Send me a. Uh, don't you jeez me, Mister. Just send me mm -hmm. a uh, black heart emoji. Oh my now. god, that was enough for me to be like, yo, just just let him in. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> fuck that. There's a reason. Okay? I'm paranoid <laughs> and I am a cunt, and I will play these fucking games. Okay, let's do this shit. 
Send me a black heart emoji. Show me you love no, me. No, I right. have some. So well, alternatively, to he could uh, talk to you about who should go into the wood chipper. <laughs> I have to low credit to like boy giga right now. I have low, low credit to the boy giga right now. Boy giga, I have seen him go from like a, an unknown troll. I've seen him go from an unknown troll. And I've had plenty of DMs with him. I talked to Giga. I know his voice. I know what he looks like. Giga's an all right kid. I've watched him go from an unknown troll to a troll of mass proportions. As in, like, his power level is brawly levels. You oh, can't yeah. fuck with so <laughs> It's a word no it does. <laughs> Actually, like, uh, I ignored Giga because he was uh, impersonating Scooby directly. And I had to message him like a few days later, and I was like, uh, yeah, when I said no, fuck you, like, man, you really gotta, you gotta make clear your intentions, cause, like, uh, well, like, like, I didn't mean to say fuck you to you, I just mean, like, Scooby really is in my DMs, I didn't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, for my own, like, my own example, exactly, like, um, I just, I just want to narrate stories. I just want to read free politics. That's my sent my YouTube career. Do that shit. Add the free music. Add the ad free fucking sound effects. Et cetera, et cetera. And get other people in light minds who wants to do that. That's my whole point in my Discord. I recently had to delete a whole Discord beyond like the bullshit between me and Bullfrog and Giga bringing in and bunnies and ninjas. Hmm. I just want to shit post oh, with wait, people wait. I don't mind talking to on the what? internet. Speaking of YouTube careers, uh, donate me money on YouTube, and I will totally our stream labs, and I will totally spend it on shit that, like, I would never purchase otherwise. Okay, um, it's all right. Voice acting wise, for real. I'm being honest. I mean, I'm being serious. This is mm -hmm. not drunk yet. I've done that. All right. I see you as like a um. Do you see you as like an eldritch? Detective? An eldritch detective? On, for voice like, acting? Say, for example, I'm a normal human, and I have to burn a piece of wood <clears throat> or, a, or a card to get you to summon. You yeah, see dude, I'm, I'm just, like, saying anything that has to do with the acting, you should not be asking me. I, don't, I can't fucking do that. Dude, I can see you doing that, like, voice acting-wise. Like, I can see you coming on as a very dark eldritch detective, which, is, as a normal human... I might not be able to fight off this human infested with purple snakes that possess his body and makes him do evil things. But I can see with your voice that you can probably do the same. Like, you show up, you grab the snakes by the throats, and rip it out the throat of this human fucking body. All right, how much are you going to pay me? I'll do it. Let's go. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's <Sal. laughs> Dude, that depends on the AdSense. Really, it depends on the AdSense. Because, like, I want to I do material where, like, we can get paid on AdSense. You can actually get commercials and shit like that and get paid for it. Uh, you better not cuss. Yeah. Right now. No, trying? I better not cuss. I'm done. I actually don't cuss. cuss. I don't cuss that much, but like, if I want to cuss, I'm going to. Right, right. There's nothing's going to stop is, me. I'm a little like deep diving into it, like the Greek boss and shit and narrations. Okay, um, okay, think for example, I can't cuss a lot. And I would have to like take, for example, certain words, titles of movies. Or not movies, but like narrations. I have to change. Like if I put the fucking word "fuck" in the title, I have to abbreviate it. If I put the word "rape" in the title, I have to abbreviate it. If I put the word "death" in the title, I have to abbreviate it. And like I've been really doing a deep dive onto this section of YouTube. Hmm. Good like, where, get, where are you at with Ryan? I'm really curious. Ryan himself, like I, I know him from a stream. Yeah, but I never actually Ryan himself him has been around for fucking ever, and like you're torturing the kid. Why? He really has. <laughs> Don't get off to this, dude. She, she has the power <laughs> right now. She's, yeah, she's got him in a little like ball gag and a ago. fucking whip and shit. Got a little yeah, spike she's collar on him. Like nine years ago. She's using her big titty Filipino powers against Ryan. It's not fair. Mm -hmm. You should. No, I don't know. You need, uh, any, like, he needs big CD powers from Ryan. Like, I've seen this shit before. Like, um, I've seen, like, he has clips before his live stream days where it's, like, Police Academy and, like, that one guy who's obsessed about guns misses out on a shootout. 
But anyway, I do want to, like, for chill for Ryan, him and Sinrise, they do a pretty fucking, like, the Insomnus has become a pretty fucking great stream. Like, if you like, because like like, the they, they have the news thing going on, but they just make jokes about the news, and it's it's great. Dude, I like the Insomnus stream, because, like, I got through them, like, like, AP, they read nothing but, like, Cannibal Course lyrics for a while. And I have to give respect to anyone who's going to read Cannibal Corpse lyrics on their stream from life. Uh, Merck said Sinrise. I said yes, Sinrise. Yeah, like dude, they, like those guys are good guys. It's like they're going to read Cannibal Corpse lyrics. And Cannibal Corpse lyrics is not something that get money from. Sinrise is a man, and, uh,. He, when he started on YouTube, like, he was, uh, like, when we first started hanging out with him, he was, a, like, an early defector of, of leftism, because he was, uh, he was a website designer in, uh, yeah. uh you know, Los, dude, there's Los a reason, An there's or in Los, Los Angeles. There is and, a reason I ask you this in DMs, it's because I know a call girl by the name of Sinrise. Yeah, no, not, not oh, a call girl. Oh, oh. Mm. Yeah, I would not have been. I would not have been answering out loud if it wasn't for the fact that I was like, if you have anything, if you have anything bad to say about Sinrise, like the Sinrise I'm talking about, I I would not. Imagine being confused for a call girl and you're a dude. Is she hot? (laughs) Is she hot, hot, Burke? Like that's my biggest question. Is she hot? Yeah. She's, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, there ain't no fucking pussy worth paying for. Sorry. No, oh, you're right. Dude, there isn't too. I agree. I agree with Danny, but like, do you like it was the same work if she hot? Yeah, she, she is. Like, I'm just saying, like, if, um, I see how I have a new fucking name here. It was fucking Funkin' Spice. Now it's E Daddy. <laughs> You do have Fuck. some odd fucking names in discords from time to time, dude. That's I do, that I do, I do. So, like, I'm just saying, like, if you're going is... full down daddy mode, like, is she going to listen? Could not. What did Ryan do to fail getting into the game <laughs> right now? <laughs> I I want to know. He didn't make with the massages. Oh, God damn it! And the bowing. Cause she's the best, the best. Oh. <laughs> Never gonna be best around. Oh son of a bitch! I triggered him. God damn it! I didn't mean. I didn't mean to do that. What the fuck? All right, dude. Yeah, Ed, tone tone it down a notch, please. I love That's you, buddy, good. but tone it down. <laughs> and I was uh, showing people earlier. Uh, I got rhythm bot in my World of Warcraft guild channel. So I started inviting. Uh, I, I started been playing a uh, Dan or Stan Bush, in the eighties. You know the the. You got the touch. You got the touch. You got the power. After all is said and done, you never walk. You never run. You're a winner. I swear to fucking Christ, dude. The one thing I hope I'm able to do at some point is get drunk with a couple people I know online and go to a karaoke bar. That shit would be hilarious as much as you bitches like to get drunk and then all of a sudden just fucking... I do it. I will karaoke the fuck. Like, I'm like, I'm one of those people like, just name a song. I'll go sing it terribly. <laughs> Hell yeah, I, will, I will at least suggest the songs that I'm like okay at singing, but if you want me to sing something else, I'll do it. I well, feel like we sing a song as manly. All of us. Joe. Like, how you guys sing about Mother? You guys know Mother? Danzig? Mother. Yes. Yep. Right. Sure enough to hear my words, what they mean. I, that, wasn't, that wasn't like an opportunity for to turn this into a karaoke stream, by the way. That wasn't like... <laughs> I, I was saying in real life that would be cool over Discord. It, it comes in really tone deaf and Screechy and Spurgy. I know, we're like, I'll try. I'll try, Danny. I'll try. You let me down, Ed, yet again. I know. I know. That's what I'm good at. I let people down. Really oh, God, I didn't mean it. Now, now I feel bad, you piece of shit. Like, how'd like, that hurt my fucking feelings? <laughs> God damn it. 
Well, how do you feel with LM too much? much? I'm starting to get more fucking sweethearted on the internet. Aww. This is not a good sign. Oh, you shut up. Although, although I know how to get him to be pissy. Uh, butt cheeks. Why? Why must you constantly <laughs> hound me, madam? Because <laughs> it's hey, funny. Butt cheeks. Do you know the song? Your mother. Nah, I just know how to get Tennessee Marine to be a bit pissy by saying one particular word as a compliment. No, you mm. heard a song, Mother Butt Cheeks. Mm. I just have mm-hmm. to call Tennessee Marine handsome uh, to get him all pissy. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, no. <laughs> song right now, Mother. I swear to I God, I've never met. I've never met a woman <laughs> online. <laughs> spanking before Jesus Christ you bratty little shit <laughs> like we all need another word we all need us know the song mother and you're, you're talking about bratty shit <laughs> like, I'm in the yeah, back out where both of us are mad at me you love me I really one of the songs. <laughs> there are several songs called mother um, uh, Mudo. Okay. You love me, really, Tennessee yeah, Marine. Mood, the words, what they mean, what they say. <laughs> Muda. Don't you start with me again. Weak. My German is very weak. Dude, oh, I'm just saying that. You love me, really, Tennessee Marine. Butt cheeks. Settle yes. down. Why? Just because I said so, woman. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, I'm going to push my so. love. All right. All right, you guys wanted some karaoke. Why do you say so? Uh, no. <laughs> no. 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 Nobody wants to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just go to uh, go to the the live stream and I'll, I'm putting it on. Oh fuck yeah! Oh god! Fuck yeah! It's like you know, I'm all about it. So I'm all about it. If if this turns into like a karaoke type stream, I'm gonna probably go into like AP's Discord and try to PC there. <laughs> Just to talk to people normally. Oh, hey, there's Ryan. Save us from this, please. Yeah, like, like, yeah there are actually a ton of Ryan. Like, if you Ryan, join the chat, man. Come <laughs> on, oh, Ryan. Dude, I really dig your fucking AVI. Like, you biced him with my boy. He had a slide and a cypher cracker. What was that, funny? I just said, Ryan. What? Oh, it's Yoda. Rick rolling. Oh. I like a, like a little bear. Hey, Yoda. Did you know he's He's asleep, dude. Yeah. You know, he'll be asleep. You're always, like, passing out when I'm on chat, like, going full fucking heavy. Please. He's literally snoring very barely in the background. Yeah. Oh, so. man. Every time I'm lit. I mean, it's not even a snore. It's just a, a sleep inhale through the nose, really. It's not even a snore. Dude, he's got the ASR. He has the ASR voice. That's how he sounds like he's asleep. He's Ed, like, Ed, 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 be quiet for a minute. Hold up, hold up. Listen. Couldn't I think that's actually a completed song now? <laughs> <laughs> and I heard the snoring now, Tennessee. Yeah. So, like, okay, Kadan, karaoke songs. Yes. What's a good karaoke song for you? Uh, for me? Yeah, for you. I don't know. It depends on my mood. My neck, seen... my back. Eat... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I still really do like a good I choked her up. Album. I choked her up on that one. <laughs> I made her <laughs> Hold on. Let me relax the throat and smell like a good girl. Wait, you <laughs> do a good Janis Joplin. That's like your natural voice. Good Janis Joplin. Okay, Ed, Ed, hold up. Ryan, dude, what's up? I are you guys there? Ever. Yes, we are here. What's up, homie? Jesus Christ. Hey, Hi, Ryan. Am I, am I a fucking Chinese bot, or do I do, do I not know how to sing chong while I wing wong? Do you guys have Chinese vagina? Nice bong rip, whoever that was. That's me. <laughs> that was pretty right. So, you, know, you guys act like, like I don't have a fucking sideways v- vagina. Oh, sideways vagina? Yeah, it took me long enough. I had to turn my vagina sideways. Are we talking about Hispanics? Mm-hmm. 
Just like I could, could rage about his spank well, right now. You guys were acting like I didn't have a ting tong where my ding dong goes. Yeah, whatever. Don't don't lie. You just got over COVID nineteen and the side effect. You know what? That shit turned sideways. I was like, you know, you guys are gonna make me fucking turn my goddamn computer on, and that's what I'm gonna do. Hey, yo, um, homies. Like, it was actually great going on streaming and talking to everyone. But I wanted to back out because I have a woman who needs my attention more. Yeah, fuck you, Ed. Get the fuck out. I'm sorry. We, I'm don't, sorry. Want you. we don't want you anymore. Leave. Handle That's your cool. motherfucking business, yeah, Ed. Leave. Knock the back out of it. Easy. That's cool. Like I didn't even someone. think that you guys were cool because there were so many of you. Ed, in, make her apologize for shit she hasn't even done yet. Oh, that's I your that's your it. mission for tonight. Make her apologize I for shit she hasn't even it. done yet. We're oh, trying to carry on this tradition of the cunt stream, which is too many fucking people in voice chat. <laughs> totally. <laughs> and where the fuck is Kadunt? Kadunt's down here. Kadunt. 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 Is there anything that you? Is there anything else that you want me to do? Do me sing the alphabet backwards? No, I just have to give like I'm gonna back out real quick. I'm gonna back out real quick. Um, I have to give like my little fucking like shadow here, my little fucking presence, my little shell. Um, creepy boss is coming out soon. Got a mic. Got 16 stories record, re-record, at a higher level. Um, something Discord soon. Anyone interested? Um, Dark Ninja. Um, go fuck yourself, or I'll fuck you. I'll fuck you like a man in prison. I'll make you the one. And, um, Kadunt, <laughs> thank you for constantly changing my name from um, Pumpkin Spice to E Daddy. Everyone have a good day. Bye, Ed. Bye, Ed. I like that. I like that guy. Well, have I'm fun, bro. I, I, love, I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you evil bitch. <laughs> you evil, evil bitch. <laughs> Yo, Kadunt. Yeah. Is there any is there anything that you would like me to do? My name is Ryan himself. I'm from Insomnist. Hi, Ryan himself. Say it out hey. loud for me. Uh, my name is Ryan himself, baby. It's, it goes like Z Y X W V R T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. What's up, bitch? What you trying to talk about? <coughs> F E D C B A. F E D C B A. I will. Yeah, yeah, get it, get it, get it. Suck it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm real. I'm real, okay? I'm real too, motherfucker. Okay, so Bunchy? Yeah? I'm going to write the lyrics for that I want to be like you parody. Yes. Because I'm in the zone right now. Put it yeah. in work in progress, though, so this way we know exactly where to find it and keep it eye. And yes, and then so, once it's finished, you can go ahead and delete it from work in progress and post the entirety of it in the actual lyrics channel. The so lyrics correct me if I'm channel. wrong, but isn't this at this point an all female produced parody? Um, no. <laughs> Dude, is... Danny, what up, TM? What up, mm. home slime? Oh, yes, dude. I'm fucking so happy to hear your voice, dude. Yeah, it's good to talk to you too, man. It's been a right on, man. minute. Right and, on, man. Yo, by the way, I mean, Ryan, how did tonight's show go? Because I decided that the appropriate sleeping hours were from 4 p.m. to midnight, so I missed it all. You know, it was a little, it was a little rushed, but it was okay. You know what? All right. Um... We both have internet problems. Like oh. this might this might be coming through to all the viewers really clear right now, but uh, we we're having fucking internet problems. Oh, you and Sunrise both. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fun times. I love how yeah, I love shit. how COVID nineteen forced Yoda is just in there snoring in the background. Yeah, it's I'll either all all of me or some of he, but uh, we we do what we can. Are you are you guys on the east coast? We're on the west coast. Really? He's actually really close to you there, Kadun. And I will say this: Ryan himself, not a bad looking dude. Just a little more. Oh shit, bitch! I know what you look like too, and you are right yourself. No homo. Word. Word. <laughs> no I'm homo not taken. West, I'm not. I'm not on the west coast though, so. Yeah, well, and much closer to proximity. From being hey, you ever you ever want to know what the, where these motherfuckers <laughs> are hiding at? I'm gonna let you know. 
Sorry, I just had to abuse it just a tad there. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> Thanks for that, butt cheek. <laughs> Thanks for that. Anyways, no, what I was going to say when Ryan popped in is the last time me and this dude talked, I'm going to tell a little story right now. <laughs> this this crazy motherfucker on Twitter was convinced that I was this one person that talked shit to him when I oh, never, no. when I never interacted with this guy before. This dude took like pictures of me in like my like fight power <laughs> gear and like put it in front of like mental institutions and shit. Like yes. like photoshopped me into places. Yeah. Like was convinced that I was like this crazy psychotic like like anti-american piece of shit or something and i had no idea who the dude was all because some random person was in ryan's chat talking shit to him and he thought it was me it just simply because i watched uh, gulf city cartoons it was no fucking kid. wild that was the last thing i was talking to ryan about like god almost a year ago you know uh shit what can i say um that dude's still around the crazy motherfucker I if he if he is he's uh he's doing a good job not letting me know where he's at. Word. All I remember is this dude was like, I fucking hate you, you fucking piece of shit. You belong in a mental institution. Dude. I was like, dude, I don't even know who you are. But did he, he, would he, take, did... he would take pictures of me like holding like my AK <laughs> with like a five power hoodie on and like yes. photoshop it in front of like yeah. a mental institution or something just to fuck with me. And I was like, dude, did I don't he even ever... know who you are. Did he ever DM you? Dude, he did a lot back when I was. Oh, did up. he? Oh yeah, shit. Dude. I would I would love to see that. I hate that guy. <laughs> He's a fucking nut. He's one of the He's crazy a nutcase, guys. dude. I'm hoping he fucking he I I mean I, I don't respect Wait, to everyone. This is YouTube. I don't uh disobey any laws or anything, but Washington did contract all the fucking cases, and I hope that motherfucker is coofing in hell right uh, now. Yeah. Fuck be, that it, dude. It would be nice. It Legit. would be nice. No, I haven't I, I haven't seen that dude in a long time. Oh Wait, god. It was some random guy who like had a problem with this random person that was in Ryan's chat and somehow because I watched uh you know Gulf City cartoons and I'm a you know well gang member Well like, they are they are I radicalizing a generation <laughs> if you didn't know <laughs> Yeah no he's in that case and uh I haven't heard from him in a while and, uh, but since but since I have a lot of pictures up of myself on my well I did on my old Twitter account he just yeah. went through like like I'm talking six month old photos of me just to Photoshop it in front of like a mental institution just to fuck dude with he shit. photoshopped me in your hat he photoshopped you in my hat and he did it like it was it was good it was good. And yeah, I it was a good it. Photoshop, but I was like, dude, I, I miss it. Fucking talk to you, homie. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, I don't know where he's at. I have, I have no idea. But well, hopefully, he's fucking dead. That fucking psychotic piece of shit. <laughs> I know, dude. Wow. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't In ever want to break the law. Yeah, I don't ever want to break the law, but I really do wish he's dead in real life. <laughs> well, that was kind of went against my whole Minecraft thing, but I yeah, well. What can you do? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck that guy, dude. But I think that was the last time I was talking to you, homie, and we both couldn't figure out who the fuck, like, what that dude's deal was. I don't know, dude. He's probably... Uh, dude, who knows? I hope he... I, I, I miss him. I miss him. He's in that case. Um, anyways, we were talking about, um... I love how Kandan at the exact same time it was like, let's go to Twitter to say like this is you know like a really good, like it's four forty one in the morning and if you're awake for some reason which you shouldn't be you should totally be watching this stream because it's the best one on YouTube. Now you guys are talking about uh you guys are talking about Trump bucks and you, well when I was trying to get in like a long ass time I got ago, my Trump um, bucks. I did too. Not uh, I did yet. Too. Not yet. <sighs> Fucking a. And, uh, well, check, I, see if I got, I'm checking my account right now. Like most broke motherfuckers, um, in my neighborhood, I had my, um, account number and routing number hooked up to the IRS. And because that's, that's what us broke motherfuckers did for like the last, oh, I don't know. How long has this been a thing? Five, eight, eight years, maybe. Yeah, I had that shit hooked up. Same thing. And so we got it. 
Um, I didn't get it yet. It fucking sucks. I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been doing my taxes online and shit, and you know all that stuff. Hmm. Mm. I've been hooked up. I, you know, it. There was a long time ago. I had to make a decision. Was I going to be a uh, drug lord, or was I going to just like get a bank account and hook up with a system and do the American thing and be a good guy? And I. You, we all we all make these choices, right? We don't we don't we don't say them words while the folks might be taping, and we don't um we you know we try to be a lot more careful with the way that we speak, and I decided to go that way a long time ago, and everybody else that did should have got that fucking Trump bucks by now, right? Or did somebody not? I I'm not, but I don't have a bank account. Me oh, too. so I'm not getting it direct deposited. It'd be coming yeah. in as a check in the mail. And meanwhile, yeah. we have people like butt cheeks that like, I don't even live in America. Mm-hmm. Where's my Trump bucks? <laughs> she doesn't get any because she keeps on wanting to start shit with me. Fuck, fuck that. No, she, she gets <laughs> nothing. No, 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 we were, we were going to share, but you decided to talk shit to fucking TM. Yeah, no, and wait, now we're going to keep it all to ourselves. But but cheeks, are you getting queens quids? <laughs> queens no. quids. Oh, I shit. love that. Kadun, yeah. I fucking love you. Sometimes. Dude, that I'm sounds like it's worth a lot. <laughs> I wish we were, but nah, that's not a thing. I swear. I mean, I, uh, dude, uh, there's places in the UK that legit sound like Lord of the Ring type shit. It really does. Like what? I, yeah. I, I can't pronounce most of them, to be it's honest. Because Tolkien was from England, and he based all I of mean, it on mythology that was already written about fucking Arthur and shit. So, I mean, your currency is called a, a what is it? A quid? No, that's or slang something? for a pound. <laughs> well, it's called a pound. That's a unit yeah. of measurement in my country. Yeah, it's also a unit of measurement here, but it's also a currency, the Great British Pound. Don't you guys weigh by stones? Oh, we do as well. Uh, Pound sterling. Uh, yeah. Wait, where's Drunkle? Like, we, Somebody summon a Drunkle. Like so, what time yeah. is what time is it right now there on the uh, the other side of the, the world? Over the time in the, the UK now. Five forty four AM. I'm about to go get some sleep myself. I fucking I worked hard tonight. I had to restore everything on my fucking computer. Everything. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Still working on well, it. Well, it's been great talking to you again, bud. And stay in touch. Yeah, I will. All right, you guys have a good one. You too. Night, Merc. You Bye. too. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. 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 Oh, jeez. You're channeling your inner, like, genie. <laughs> but wait, yes. wait. So now, are we going to try? Are we, are we working on? Hmm? It is now 10.45 a.m. in the UK. Yeah, fuck that. We're strong for. But what are you, do, do, what are you saying? Like, oh, I was I was asking, um, are we going to try and get uh, Excel string taken down? Oh, you can. I'm fine with that. You're probably going to fail. <laughs> like, uh, the Insomnists discovered this a long time ago. Well, when, when, let when me nobody tell you subs, the, nobody's the... going to give a shit about what you do on your channel. Well, it, I would like to start talking about the Jews. Uh, you see, I'm just kidding. Right. So I was gonna go completely like similar route, except it wasn't. It yeah. wouldn't be about the Jews. All right. All right. Uh, all right. Epstein Word, killed. Words. Epstein didn't kill himself. Um, nigger, nigger, faggot, nigger, nigger, cunt, nigger, fuck, nigger, 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 faggot. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. But the word of the hours are there's Kite. two, right? No, it's ovens. Ovens. That's okay. word number one. Okay. And uh, mm-hmm. word number two is Jews. Jews. Uh, ladle, ladle. <laughs> oy vey. Oy vey. <laughs> oy vey. Ladle. Like a vault. Dun, 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 dun. I still love that fucking song. Unironically. <laughs> and on that note, I will go and make myself a cup of tea. Nice will you enjoy that? Cuppa? Yeah, nice cup of are tea. You, are you going to have some tea? Oh my fucking god, I need some coffee. Tea, some tea and biscuits. <laughs> I'll be right back. 
I don't have any biscuits in the house. I hope I your tea thing. is really fucking cold after all you all the shit you've been giving me. They're butt cheeks. I hope <laughs> it's cold. Yeah, that's me really. It so. And it tastes like moldy pie. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> <clears throat> it's so. Yo, what's but yes, up? I shall return. Uh, okay, I was just, I was just testing. You guys are talking about Jews. Um. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was, I was just testing. I was just testing. Nothing. Nothing in particular. Well, you know what? I've got some pasta in the oven, so... We've covered that, yeah. right? Uh, I'm pretty sure no, the algorithm no, it, is going to fuck us on that. That's, that's no, funny, because no, I've never it, met a Jewish person named Pasta before. I know. If, no, if they're not going to get to the... Uh, I, well, I was going to say the algorithm will, but they won't. I've been... You know, I... I've I've not been pushing it myself, but I listen to a lot of dudes who have been pushing it themselves. You know what? It's not gonna get you. You can say what you want. The all right, like they say, the cure is worse than the fucking virus itself, right? You're so scared of what you can say and what you can't say. But that that's I'm not scared of shit. Idea. What what should no, I what should idea. I not say? I mean, is anybody even working at YouTube right now, or is it all no. bots? Well, first point? off, first off, repeal the nineteenth, right? Because that shit's gotta go. Sorry, ladies, um, it's for your own good. Um, what, what's next? Um, uh, the 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 reason why black people don't su succeed in America is because they have a toxic subculture that is ruining their lives. Uh, Ryan, build what else? Wall. What what else can I say? Build build a wall. Um, I don't... Well, I mean... <clears throat> Listen, the only thing that we have anything to say about it is because Jews have decided that it's the way that we want to think about it, right? Because, like, we're built in this... Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, that... Ryan, you just remind me, Hitler did nothing wrong. Alright. <laughs> this is what I was getting at. <clears throat> Need I say more? Hmm. I've I'm, always I'm, been I've always been of the opinion if you're weak enough to be conquered and taken over and replaced then you should be survival of the fittest motherfucker. Yep. You know that that's a lot more succinct than I would have put it but I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. If you're going to let a a, lun, a a bunch of little Ben Shapiro's fucking take over your entire <laughs> planet then they deserve to be. <laughs> Dude, I just saw this picture of an army of Five foot four long Jews that all they do is they go around. They have no weapons. Yo, but they dude, just, they just girls, stare at you and they say, "Facts don't care about your feelings." Yeah, exactly. But yo, dude, Ben Shapiro's fucking Ben Shapiro's sister got some nice ass titties though. I saw that link. Because uh, our milkers. Gal yeah, shitting me right now. Gal Gadot number two. Um, no, I'm not shitting you. She got some Kazar oh, milkers. No, sorry, you ain't never seen. Look up <laughs> Google Kazar milkers and you'll see what I'm saying. You'll see what Tennessee Marina is saying. Yeah, dude, I don't know what it is, though, but a Jewish woman's face, it, it's not that horribly unappealing to me. I don't know why. It's a its a Jewish trick or something, I swear. But, like, like uh, what's her fucking name? Uh, Sarah, Sarah Silverman? Silverman. Uh, yeah. Uh, dude, she yeah. can fucking get it. Dude, she can fucking get it. Uh, like, you, you were supposed sure. You're supposed to agree with me and just say Gal Gadot's hot as fuck. Dude, Gal Cadol, I would put a baby inside of. Are you kidding me? I'd put fucking twelve in her. Like, I don't care. Like, even after twelve, she'd still be hot as fuck. Yeah, dude, she's so fucking pretty. But she's like of the like actual Israeli Jewish people, not like the American Jewish people type stuff. I think Yoda has awoken. Oh, because that matters. Mmm, Miko Jobacha boy. Yoda. <laughs> that ain't me. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, what's her name? Abigail Shapiro has got some Kazar milkers that nobody can deny. I mean, she isn't that great in the face, but yeah, dude, for as tiny as she is, yeah, dude, they're fucking, they're bigger than her head. 
<laughs> All right, well, instead of being like Dick's point case, it's going to be like, why are you talking shit about me, Ben? I was like, I'm gonna, if I ever run into him, I'm going to be like, Ben, can I get your sister's phone number? Dude, Ben comes up to, like, my belly button. I'm not worried about that, dude. Like, well, ever. And, like, it, like, he would never do this debate, but I always would find it fascinating for him to debate someone who is a Christian and be like, no, you saying Judeo-Christian is actually incorrect because... We have different beliefs, and you literally killed the, you know, the scion of our religion. So, <laughs> no, you trying to, you know, sell Bible insurance. <laughs> Dude, have you seen that video? Time. Like, I'm pretty sure it was uh, Ryan himself that exposed me to this guy, but uh, there was a dude that was going around doing a prank. He was dressed up as a Catholic priest and was, like, uh, going to this Jewish market and being like, hey, are you, uh, are you ready to apologize for killing Christ? <laughs> We're just, you know, we just, we just want to make things right. Like, are you, can you guys apologize? Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, apparently Ed, uh, Ed got laid. Uh, and I told him that was very quick. <laughs> he, he got that shit taken care of. 15, 20 minutes. That's an average adult lay. That's, a, that's uh, an average, like, we're adults and we've already fucked a lot. And we're just, we're, we're just getting it on. Good man. So. We were, we were his, uh, banging background sounds. So while we were talking about, uh, the Jews and stuff, he was getting it. <laughs> All that. right. Well, we know what fucking gives him a boner. Ooh, we got an edgy boy here. We got an Wait, edgy here, boy. Let's make this, let, let's make this super fun. Um, yeah, do you have fucking for... the death of minorities? Channeling my, makes him rock channel, hard. Channeling my yeah. inner Dankula right now. Ooh, edgy boy. Edgy boy. <laughs> Mad lad. So you mad in, lad in you. your post coital in your post coital bliss, lad. just just keep in uh keep in mind that Jesus Christ was a Jew. Yeah, they fucking but killed him so too. Was, yep. But yeah. as Ben Shapiro explained, Jesus Christ is not a actual uh messiah or anything else he was a rebellious jew who tried to uh take on the romans and got punished for his sins so even if you're not a christian or yeah ooh. <laughs> Hitler didn't have to, oh god damn you could done anyway he derailed me there for a bit but nah dude i just like i hate people who like are of the jewish faith which I, I have nothing against the Jewish people, all jokes aside. But I do have a big problem with Jews who are like, hey, fellow Christian, or hey there, pal, Christian buddy, old friend of mine. We're, we're in this together, Judeo-Christian, uh, am I right? Oh, and by the way, you should really hate the fucking Muslims and kill all of them for us. Yeah, come on, go, 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 go. Yeah, I got a problem with that type of shit. I mean. All right, well, it, but it they're turns not out. Wrong. It turns out that well, nothing, nothing, uh, uh, TM said there was wrong, and also <laughs> it makes you a Nazi. So congratulations. Well, fair. That's fine, Zig Howl, motherfucker. But the thing, like, actually, Muslims actually view Jesus Christ as a prophet in their religion and actually hold him to some respect, whereas Jews think he's burning in a cauldron full of piss and semen for all eternity, uh, all eternity, and human feces. So. Yeah. Yeah, but gotta, they also gotta... eat shit like a felt of fish. That is true. That I'm is gonna true. be. I'm gonna I'll, be a little bit. I'll, I, I will that... say Jewish Jewish subs like sandwiches are pretty fucking dope. I will say that much for the Jewish people. They got some pretty banging subs. I like bagels. Yeah, bagels. That's another one. No, no. Yeah, I want to be a little bit more serious. Is uh, I've been atheist, and what I've learned since 2016 is that. My problem is not with people that have religions. My problem is with people that don't believe in freedom. And that's it. I can get behind that. Most like, of my friends like, are... Uh, well, I'm saying, like, <laughs> all that, my... that... That fucking Christopher Hitchens shit, he completely missed out on the idea that, uh... A lot of people, even though they were religious, they kind of believed in the idea of, of liberalism in the classical sense. And mm -hmm. we're sitting there fighting a battle against people that don't believe in that at all. Well, most of my in real life, like best friends and even some of the women I've dated and been really quite fond of have uh, been atheist or at least like soft agnostic to where they just kind of I don't know what's out there, but I'm not going to say one way or another. If there is, I'm just going to yeah, do my own thing. I, 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 shit. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm agnostic, too, but I don't bitch on the term. Right. Like I'm an atheist. Right. Right. I haven't made like well, I'm not going to sit there and say I fucking know <laughs> with any certainty, but 
the, the, the question is about, do I believe there is a God? And the answer is, no, I have no positive belief that there is a God. Like, there could be. Like, I believe <clears throat> it, but I just don't. Well, the okay, only thing that... you don't that... have definitive proof that, it, that there isn't, that means you're agnostic. Yeah, well, no, 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 that's, mm. that's not true, because... There's a billion things I could come up with in my mind that you could not definitively prove is wrong. Right? It's it's just, it's a, whether or not I positively affirm something exists. Hmm. Well, in my, well, in my opinion, uh, like, I have nothing wrong with as agnostic or non-denominational people or outright atheists. The only thing that bugs me is, is like, atheists who's whose belief basically is worshiping science to a degree to where it's like, Oh, you're a piece of shit because you have religious views. Now let me tell you about what scientists have said and let me use them as like my prophets to try and proselytize to you about science. Meanwhile, well, dude, it's not even practically you know, correct to think that way. Cause I'm talking to you right now. And we probably agree on almost like we can go through like random issues of the world and we're going to agree on almost everything. Probably and me we, and we you do lean similar ways. Yeah, I mean, we're. I, I would say, I would say we we hang out like politically. We hang out in the like uh, right libertarian sphere. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm right leaning libertarian. That's what I define myself. Yeah, as. And, and but like, so the question of God is probably never going to come up. Like, well, I mean, maybe even if it does, it's just going to be like, well, it's not really. Important. I have no desire to change your religious or lack of religious views, and yeah, it doesn't I don't, dictate. I don't. I don't. My... <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Yeah, it, like it doesn't dictate my opinion of someone. Like my religion well, is my religion, and so it's a personal thing. That reminds me. So uh, Tom Pinoy got involved with some MAGA people. Um, one of them is <sighs> this guy named Let's Be Frank, and he's been doing like prayer services and stuff. He's a really good guy. Don't get me wrong. Like I like I like Let's Be Frank a lot. <clears throat> but he likes having me on his stream because he says I give an inter interesting perspective on things. Because I'm there, he's a conservative. I'm a libertarian. Mm -hmm. There is a difference, and even though we agree on a lot right now, uh, particularly with the way the political climate is at the moment, um, I still want to do a stream with him just to explain how I am not a conservative. Makes sense. I just think it would be be fun to explain to his people why why I'm I'm not. Well, I mean, I guess I used to be like conservative but then i saw how shitty the republican party is and how spineless they are and how much they bow down to the democrats so and also like if we're speaking about like actual conservatism i don't think that well, i the, don't believe it i don't believe it's necessarily a good thing to conserve old ways of thinking simply for yeah, nostalgia's sake yeah the question is always what are you trying to conserve yeah exactly like, I mean, on certain issues, yes, I always think that America should be America and be fundamentally based upon it, what it was founded upon. Same way with the UK or with Ireland or with, you know, Norway or whatever your country is, whatever it's founded upon, I do think needs to be what it always remains because that's what makes that country unique. But going forward into the, you know, century, yeah, there are certain things that you're going to have to change in order to make improvements upon both your society and your country in general and that's why i think a libertarian ideology is much more long-term uh, sustainable and healthy for a population and a people well i mean the whole idea of libertarians are live and let live type of people so yeah you basically, do have to agree don't... you have to agree on certain premises like private non property, principle. Pri private property is real uh yep, yeah ag property. aggression like you know the, yeah the nap it's always wrong. It doesn't matter how many people you vote to approve it. Uh, but if everybody agrees on that, then societies can self-organize, and that's been historically true. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I mean, going back to the whole like religious thing, like your religious beliefs will never dictate how I view you as a person, unless you're like you know uh, an extremist Muslim terrorist type stuff, and you want to kill me for being a infidel. Then yeah, of course I'm not going to get along you but if you're uh, like yeah if you're an atheist or you're you know a jew or a christian or a more conservative christian than what i would be considered like i don't care you know that's to me that should be a personal thing that helps you as a person not like i have no interest in proselytizing or trying well, to convert and, and where uh ben shapiro and like glenn Beck's get it wrong where they say our country was founded on judeo-christian values 
They in, they in, weren't. In a lot of ways, in a lot of ways, they're they're not wrong, but they're using it in the wrong way. Um, you like, have to you, no no no. You have to go back. You have to remember. Technically correct, but but for the very very wrong fucking reasons. Yeah, you, yeah. Because you have to go. You, you, well, you have to go back and remember that. Uh, Christianity used to not just be uh, like this coalition of, of people that believed in Christianity. It used to be all these sub segments of religions that were at odds with each, with each other, and they were they were really really fucking Catholics at odds with and each Protestants. Other. I mean, look at that. Yeah, well, no, like, like even even before that, like in, in like the late eighteen hundreds, because that's that's when the real, well, the the second real. Uh, uh, split between catholics and protestants happen like no i'm not talking about like the fucking george luther and shit like like long after that but like e even even like during like the 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 early 1600s and the late 1600s and the early 1700s you had a lot of protestant infighting a oh, fucking lot of it yep yeah yeah that's but why there's and, such and, a thing as like baptist and everything else because they split from the protestants and well, stuff. and the founders like they knew all of this and they were thinking actually even within terms of just Christianity, saying we have to develop a set of rules that we can all agree upon to make society work uh, that is not specific to one religion. Yeah, and I don't think that this country was founded upon, you know, Judeo-Christian, which isn't a fucking thing. It's just Christian or Jewish, but I don't think it was founded upon any one yeah. particular religion. Yeah, there was so, a lot of founding fathers who were Christian, supposedly, but there was also a bunch of them who were like agnostic if not outright atheist well so. a lot of them were deists a lot of them they would call themselves culturally christian but it all came out of the enlightenment right. um and the reason they they i mean they called it like uh you know it, it was put in the second amendment it's uh, like they called out religion specifically mm. it was it it wasn't even about like a uh, separation of church and state which is something they that were pisses definitely... me off about atheists like i don't think they necessarily meant like this hard separation where, well, like, points. the state is not necessarily, like, look, if you have a church that is, uh, does, like, some community work, and, like, your local city council is funneling some money for them to do that work, they weren't saying that was against it. They were just saying that, like, look, um, we're not gonna fucking write laws based on any one religion, right? Like, we're gonna have, right, a, we're right. gonna have a set of rules that, uh, it doesn't matter what religion you are, you have to agree upon that to live in this country. Right. Well, two things. The one, they were definitely, I will say this much for the Founding Fathers, if they were theists, they were monotheists. I don't believe any of them, to my knowledge, believed in, like, well, yeah, multiple no. deities. They, they, they were, were either, all, like, they were either they Christians. They were polytheists. Yeah, they were either Christians of some denomination, or they were, uh, at that time, called deists, right? And the yeah. deist, the whole deist thing was, uh, yeah, we, we're pretty sure there's, like, a god, but it made the universe and it just disappeared, right? You pray and nothing right, happens. Right. Well, and the other thing I wanted to bring up was the separation of church and state, which I think is sort of, I don't know. I think that a lot of churches get away with being, you know, tax exempt and stuff like that, which I don't know if I necessarily agree with, but I kind of see why it's a thing. But me personally, in my like own local area, like I'm the type of dude like I will put my nation's principles before my own religious beliefs because there was this like religious plaque that was hanging in like a sheriff's office or something. Not in like the main area where you could go publicly, but like in the like I guess like the break room or something like that, and they took it down. And me as a person who believes in separation of church and state, I understood why they needed to take that down because it was a direct quote from the Bible. You know, so I understood why if you were like a atheist, if you were a police officer who was an atheist <laughs> or something like that, you wouldn't want to see, you know, a Bible quote. Say, and the reason I uh, was in support of this, even though I do, I do believe in practice Christianity, is that like the reason why I'm a big fan of separation of church and state is because I wouldn't want to see like something from the Torah or the Quran in my workplace and have that in a place of you know, public space or high regard or whatever, if that makes sense. Yeah, what's, that, that, this is hilarious. So I'm talking to somebody that's a believer, and I'm a non-believer, and I actually wouldn't have given a shit if it was just some, like, random quote that is historically, you know, Chris, Christian and part of the country. 
So long as it wasn't saying something that was contradictory to the law. That's that's right, right. That's really what I would get at, right? Like, thou shall not kill. If somebody threw that up there, I'd well, be like, sure, my whole, fine. My, my whole like logic behind it was, I wouldn't want at, like if I was a police officer, <laughs> God forbid, if I was ever like a police officer, I wouldn't want like a quote from, you know, like I said, the Torah or the Quran or whatever in a place where I would see it every day, regardless of whether or not I believed uh, in the quote itself. I just don't think that that has any place in something yep. that is and I'm, and I'm a, telling a part you, of the state. I'm, and I'm telling you, I wouldn't really give a shit. Like, I, I wouldn't pick that fight. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't care. Well, I, I, like, I, I understood their reasoning behind why they removed it, and I didn't, I didn't think it was, you know, anti-Christian to do so. I, well, I don't believe that either. I just, I, like, I'm, I'm, it's a... The kind of shit that fucking atheist groups do that piss me off is you have a, a, a town, right? And they have a fucking park. And on Christmas, they want to put up a fucking, uh, like, a nativity scene. And then some atheists come around and be like, no, it's getting separation of church and state. I was like, look, it's just a fucking nativity scene. It costs mm. like 10 bucks. I don't give a shit. Well, that's why I'm not like a super big fan of like the Church of Satan or whatever, because those dudes are a bunch of whiny little cunts too that always try to go to courthouses and get like the Ten Commandments removed and shit like that. It's like why? Yeah, why they, do you even they, care? They want to use the all the awesome power of government to to make sure that communities can't do what they want to do with their fucking tax dollars. Mm-hmm. Yep. Not. But not I mean, a fan. like a. But I mean, in my local area, like a lot of churches have like uh, food drives and give away free food well, and I know. clothing like, and like, do yeah, a bunch exactly. of humanitarian work. So exactly, churches churches have historically been uh, conduits Christian for charity. churches at that. Yeah. Well, and a lot of them, like, look, I maybe there's room for because you were talking about like tax exemptions or whatever. Maybe mm -hmm. there's room to just identify churches as like corporate entities. Because uh, some of them right. are, right? Like the ones you see on TV, the ones we make fun of. Yeah, see, I, I, even as a <clears> Christian, <throat> people, like, and I've said this to, like, Poisoning the Well and, and stuff before when they've been discussing it. People like Kenneth Copeland and that fucking asshole in Texas who has a mega church when the Which fucking... one? There's a few of them down here. Uh, the fucking very famous guy who, oh, during the uh, Houston floods, didn't allow people to come Joel in and Austin. take... Joel Olstein, that fucking piece of shit faggot. Yeah, like people like that and Kenneth Copeland and stuff like that. Yeah, those people make it so bad for just normal dudes like me who are like, yeah, I'm a Christian, but I don't care. Do you? I'm not going to – I don't think you're going to burn in hell because you disagree with me. You know. But people like that who have millions of dollars and then they close their doors to people in need, that is, that is fundamentally unchristian to me or at least what I believe Christianity should be. But it's funny because, uh, like, I you know I do subscribe to libertarian principles or whatever. I am one hundred percent behind the idea of if I see a problem that I I should donate, I should do what I can to solve that problem. Right. Uh, that goes with like donating to people. Like I donate to the the Red Cross usually every year. I'm not gonna say it's not a lot. It's something. Right. Um. Right. But I do it, and I do it because I'm just like I think that these are these groups are doing a, a good job. Right. Fair and enough. I and, really and I, I donate to food drives and things like that. Like I've I've done that. I will do it again. There is one thing to say about the the principle of charity is that uh, in in a head to head between uh fucking governmental handouts and charity. Charity is better 99.9% .9 of the fucking time. It's always more efficient. It's almost always more efficient. Well, it's it's always mm -hmm. more efficient, yes. The the only problem there lies is the fact that charity is a bit um, mercurial and has some blind spots. That, like, w whenever, whenever it gets involved and does something, it does something better than the government will ever do it because the government is fucking Agreed. trash. Whatever. But... The charity left some blind spots like say like all right we're, we're gonna help out group a b d e f and g 
All right. Well, what about C? What about Group C? They got yeah. What do, yeah, you, what do you mean Group C? I, I don't. Totally. I don't. Like, they're they're fine, right? I mean, that's 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 not what we're focusing on. So we're focusing on Group A, B, D, E, and F. Like, well, don't get me wrong. I do believe that a community charity, either through a church or something like that, I understand why they would only want to help the members of their actual community. And I don't mean community in a, in a in terms of like race or gender or whatever the fuck. I mean the people literally living around where you're trying to give aid. But in order for it right. to be actual charity to me, it needs to be freely given to anyone in need. Not, you know, you have to be a Christian before you come to this church and get like cans of beans or whatever. I don't believe in shit like that. I don't and, believe it's true charity. And and one of the things I just I just have to say is uh, I've never said that um, you know voluntary actions for charity and things like that are perfect. I, I'm just saying I, I, I prefer that over the idea that we're going to put a gun to somebody's head to pay for something to and then call it charitable after the fact. Oh, yeah, no, no, I 100% I, I agree. I, I just like I, I've been I've I've been I kept hearing that argument a lot from people. It's like, well, charity is always better. Well, yeah, it, it is when it happens. But charity has some blind spots. It, it, it can be a bit mercurial. And see, no, see no. people take that, that that step where it's like. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. And then they always say some other shit. I was like, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let, let, let me preface that from now on, just just, just so I can get that out there to, to cause any more further confusion. I I, no. I get it. And I think some of this also, too, is uh, I keep complaining. Like, we're just so used to the government doing certain things. Uh, if we lived in a world like lack, it, it's a lack of imagination problem, I think, for most people. If you lived in a world where the government wasn't taking care of these things, you would you would also have more people willing to donate their time, energy, and money to take care of things that they thought was problems in society. Yeah, I think you would have a stronger uh, sense of community. I'm sorry to interrupt. Kadan, no, go ahead. I just mm -hmm. posted the complete lyrics. Nice. I love you. I've been effective. <laughs> Wait, Kadan? <Kedantia? laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. All right. <laughs> I, I I saw a bunny and then I just heard a bunch of fucking dudes. I didn't even realize there's anyone else in here. Man, all the ladies are just bashful and they don't uh, want to talk. You noticed me so I was going to say the channel it's is actually because you're always fucking top of the goddamn list. I don't know why you're always first in everyone's fucking Discord thing. Because it's B and Ooh, it's alphabetically. Yeah. Sometimes they're not set up alphabetically. Sometimes they're set up in some weird fucking order. But you're always still first, even if it's uh, done alphabetically or not. Bitch, that's because I'm on top. <laughs> she is number one. Right. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 <laughs> uh, I just want to like, point wait, out wait, something wait, that on. somebody in my chat said real quick. Uh, if I can, if I can do it. Uh, Hell for gamer says the only issue I see with tax exemption is the aspects of taking tax free money that could help people <laughs> and spending it on Bibles for missions and sending it back to the Vatican tax free. Um, agree. My my well no my I don't agree. My issue with that whole thing is, what like what is government actually spending your fucking tax dollars on? How much of it is going towards things that you would support? Because if you actually like lined up how much uh, you pay in taxes to uh, the percentage of government expenditures uh, versus the percentage of things you would support, you would be like, yeah, I'd, I'd probably have to pay like a hundred dollars in taxes a year to actually mm. pay for the things I really support government doing. Well, I agree you, with... You know how much I of the government, government budget is spent on administrative bullshit? Yeah, a lot. It's, yeah, it's a ridiculous. Lot. It's about well, the 35%. Thing I, the thing that I agree with uh, what he said, or she said, or whatever, you know, Zer said in the chat, was uh, sending it to other countries. That's something I have an issue with, where it could be used here, considering you're... Oh, yeah, Donating I'm, against, money I'm against basically all foreign aid. Our foreign aid game is ridiculous. <laughs> like it we is. pay, we give money to certain countries, and then other countries to not uh, fuck with countries that we also gave money to. <laughs> oh, and by the way, before I forget this, if Bun Bun is on top, does that mean Buck Cheech is underneath her? <laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> Just wanted to make that joke. Please continue mm -hmm. with the. Political. Oh, well, I'm saying you you are never going to get me to say something about like, oh God, because certain people are taxed, uh, we should tax other people too. Like you're just not going to get me to say that. 
So you're not going to get me to be like, oh, well, because these people found a loophole to not get fucking guns pointed to their head to give them their money, that uh, I should be mad because other people have to. It's kind of it's the same mm-hmm. thing where they they were talking about uh, the women in the draft. Like I think the whole idea of the draft is completely unconstitutional. I think any war worth fighting, uh, any fucking real American is going to fucking fight that war. Um, right. Well, here's here's the thing though, uh, and maybe this is just you know having to play identity politics and shit for so long, where. If you're a guy, you have to sign up for selective service as soon as you reach the age of 18, whether you're still in high school or not. I think with this whole rise of women can do anything men can do and we're all equal and it's, you know, the future is feminine and blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, cool. Well, then guess what? You got to sign up for the fucking draft too and you got to sign up to get quick, 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 Women, women can get it without that, but men have to sign up, sign up for select service to be able to vote or get government assistance. Which is biased towards women, so mm-hmm. that's There's wrong, a, and it's yeah. something that needs to be changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so my point is, is uh, you have this tyranny. Like, you have this tyranny like, against men, right? Like this is tyranny. You should not be able to force people in a free society to do something they don't want to do like that, right? You can't agree force them. And then so the solution to tyranny should not be, well, this tyranny only affects 50% of the population. We're going to make it right by making it uh, tyranny affect 100% of the population. I'm just never going to buy into that. I, I do I'm agree never, with that I'm, to an I'm, I'm, I'm never going to buy into that. I'm sorry. Like, I don't care about any of this equality nonsense bullshit. I am, I, by principle, I will never be like, well, shit, there's this thing that I disagree with that government does that only affects some people, but I'm going to be okay with it if we just make it affect all people. And I, I totally agree, and I understand that that stance, and it makes a lot of sense to me. But here's the thing. That's never, in the foreseeable future, going to be taken out of government. And if women are allowed to fucking, you know, be pushed into the infantry, which started after I left the Marine Corps, and, you know, take what is, you know, historically speaking men only or male only uh, <coughs> jobs in the military and have this forced fucking gender inclusion and diversity shit well then yeah like if 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 you're gonna do that then yeah damn straight you gotta I, I think it's only fair to have it have a shitty law which yeah I no. guess it makes a lot what of you're sense saying, it, you know, what you're saying is, is it's unfair but you're, you want it to be equally unfair to everybody I would rather it be equally unfair than unfair to only one people. Yeah, I want you to sit on that for a little bit, and, and like I'm not, I'm not sitting there trying to call you out or anything. No, no, sit no, on it. I, I'm just like, like just sit on I it like for a little bit. I like being disagreed with. Please. Well, no, I'm saying sit on it for a little bit and just be like, how many other things could you fucking apply that to? Oh, dude, that, gover- a, a perf- that government, that government could do to people. I understand that, right. and in a perfect world, I would just get away with all of these, you know, ancient draconian laws like well, no, selective no. service and yeah, drafts no, no, and all no. that. But. Well, I understand that, but at some point, you got to be like, you know, I'm going to stand up for principle and be like, I am not going to sit there. This is well, uh, here's the, here's, well, here's, here's the here, thing. Wait, wait, I have a great example for you that I still hold true. Um, the gay marriage thing has basically been settled by fiat from the courts. And I never really gave a shit about that because I thought they were always fighting the wrong fucking war. The war should have been, why the fuck does the federal government have anything to say in your love life? Where in the Constitution is there anything about marriage? It doesn't exist, right? Like these crazy fucking laws that surround what you're doing with your love life, they should just go away. They should not so exist. As you're a consenti- so long as you're a consenting adult, yeah, I agree. And and so during like the whole gay marriage thing, I would I would never, I never advocated for that we should have the same like you know if you enter a marriage contract sponsored by the government that has all these special fucking rules around it. Um, I never advocated that everybody should be able to have that right. I said we need to abolish those laws. They need to go away. They they shouldn't exist. There's no reason well, for them to so, exist. Well, it's so I'll give a little I'll give a little pushback on that because when you do <clears throat> get married to someone, you know, regardless of the sexuality or the genders of those adults involved, there is certain 
like legal protections that you do need to have in place in order for your spouse to be able to have you can a say hold in on, your life. Hold on, you can do that contractually without the without the federal government actually having to have any any care about whether or not you're actually married. Like any two people should be able to enter a contract with each other. That's it. Shouldn't even be an issue. In fact, it can happen. It had happened even before then. Like gay men were getting married before it was legal and signing contracts like that well before then all you have is this new government sponsored institution that grants special rights and that needs to go away well yet again dude and here's the thing i'm going the reason why even though i do agree with that you know if it's a shitty law that only affects one per or a a percentage of the population it needs to affect a lot you know everyone equally even though it's a shitty law i do i in a perfect world yeah of course i'd rather have that just taken out but i'm realistic about this knowing that it probably won't ever be so if it's not going to be and it's just sign it's sort of what we have to live with for right now then yeah i would like it to be equally shitty for everyone versus just only shitty yeah. towards you're my never, fucking you, that's and that's what i'm saying you're never going to get me to sign up for equality of tyranny I'm just, no, I don't, I, I'm not, I, I, I don't want to do it. I think, I, 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 here's his point. He's saying what we have now is, is bad level fucking 10, right? It's, it's, it's fucking awful. Having it be equally bad for fucking everybody would be at least fucking fair. It's bad level fucking, you know, nine. Mm -hmm. Having that, having that rule taken out entirely. Okay. Now we're at level one. We're fucking good. It's yeah, great. That's where I disagree. It, it, I'm it, like, it, it, if it's. it's that's where I disagree. Like, well, it's the number. Itself. Yeah, I'm itself saying it's bad good. level nine whenever it's only half the population, and then when it's 100% of the population, well, well, it's well, bad level 10. Here, here's the thing, though, itself. I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to view this as realistically as possible. The reason why I'm in support of it equally affecting everyone, even though it is a shitty law, is because that's when things get repealed. That's why I want it to be that way. Right. Because when All it right. only affects a, a certain percentage of the population and it's shitty, you don't have the ability to get as much support behind it in order for it to go away and be repealed or be changed. Now, if it affects everyone equally and it's all equally shitty, that's when you start seeing a lot of support and a lot of you know like hey why right. the fuck do you All have right. to be 18 and sign up for this so, and blah 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 like so, this is bullshit yeah. so you change things up on me a little bit here right because this is a all of a sudden you've changed it so it's not that i really want it to be equally shitty i just think that if more people understood how shitty it was we could get rid of it altogether. and exactly. i i, I well, no, no, were no. By it. i understand that strategy and i'm okay with that but i'm i'm, I'm not gonna sit here and be like I think it would be totally fine, and I'd be okay with it if we made it shitty for more people. I, I won't. I won't make that argument. That's, that's okay. what I've been saying. Well, I here. think that that's the only way that shit gets repealed, and that stuff happens when it equally affects everyone, yeah, and it's maybe. shitty. I mean, yeah, maybe. I, I'm not going to make that claim. I don't. I don't really know. But well, yeah, I, mean, I, I honestly, was. Look, I was talking about principle and not practicality. But like, yeah, like. It's kind of like the whole accelerationist pro approach. I'm not okay. an accelerationist, but I, I understand what they're they're going for. Their whole idea yeah. is that if we if we just keep making things uh, worse for everybody, that that will understand what needs to happen, and then we will rebel. And and I totally will get, get where better. you're coming from, homie. And I, like I'm not even like trying to like disparage what you what your take on this is, and I respect you even more so for standing upon your principles and actually oh, we, we don't, not backing down from. We it. don't really disagree on much. If you're going to bring in the whole, well, I think part of the reason we need to do it is so that we can get rid of it. Uh, right. At because that point, I'm at that point, be, at like, that point, you're saying to, like, I understand though, it's like, not right. I just, I just think the only way we get rid of it is to force it upon everybody which is well i'm trying to view it in a very valid, practical manner and how valid. we could yeah i'm trying to view it in a very practical manner and how we could get it to the point to where it's taken care of and removed you know what well, i mean yeah Versus, and i was talking about it on a strictly philosophical level right right because i'm like i'm totally in agreement with you dude it's it's draconian it's it's anti-constitutional it's fucked up that you know the government can just force you to be in the military even though you don't want to be. I'm not in favor of that whatsoever. But the only way I see it ever getting changed is it 
if it affects everyone's son and daughter in this country, then we could be like, oh, this is fucking bullshit, and we should have done this a long time ago. Yeah, get get rid of selective service, get rid of fucking the draft and all this other bullshit. I actually think that for the most part, it, it has been gotten rid of. It's just it has not been overruled by the courts. Mm-hmm. Uh, the oh, yeah, reason- dude, there's no way they would ever do a draft nowadays. Yeah, there's there's the, no way. The only reason it ever passed is, uh, God, dude, I wanted to fucking rip Sophie and throw it out, saying we need another FDR. But FDR stacked the courts uh, to get done what he wanted to have done, and uh, they would never rule against him. And the whole reason they said that, like, yeah, draft is totally constitutional, is because well, every other country's doing it. So of course, of course, it's constitutional, right? says in there the president can raise the military right well i even though i am a right-leaning libertarian i will always stand the need for a a military force of some type to be oh no 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 i i i am totally fine with the idea of raising the military but it's it was always implicit in the constitution that it would be a voluntary force uh and they also thought it would be super federalized uh, that's like the whole idea of like, state militias. Uh, they would be their own fucking units that were ready to defend their territory at a whim if uh, anybody ever invaded the country. And in some ways, that legacy still holds true. Like, uh, what? It was some? Uh, it wasn't it long ago? Like, uh, like the Chinese were just like, well, we'd never bother invading America because there would be a gun in front of every door. Oh, there would be a blade. There would be a rifle behind every blade of grass. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's that's what it was. But yep. it's true. World it's, War Two Japanese general. But yeah, and it's it's true. And people that think that uh, just like regular arms, right? Like a group of people with AR-15s couldn't put up a resistance. They haven't been paying, paying attention to what's been going on in Afghanistan, right? Where people in fucking caves with these fucking self-made AK-47s are able to make sure that the United States military and all its fucking power and glory can't fully take the country over. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I do think uh, there's, there's so much that the federal government fucks up on that I think it could be done a lot better at the state level, especially the local level. Oh my god, dude. Here's the problem. We need to convince our liberal friends that federalism is the way to go. Right? Because if you get it done right, then we're just like, yeah, all those fucking liberal problem, like uh, policies you want in California, like you can implement them. You can have your fucking free health care just in your little city if you... Just decide that we're not going to make the federal government make all the decisions. And you can make that policy uh, succeed or fail on its own merits. I mean, I disagree with it, but how the fuck are you going to implement that shit in a country of 320 million people and make it work? It's not. It's just you not going to fucking not, work. It's not financially right? feasible whatsoever. Yeah, well, and, yeah exactly. Like, it, the whole idea was, like, we just want these to be like Sweden. I was like, Sweden has like 12 million people. It's, it's, well, like the 60, thing that gets, it's like 65. I don't know, it's, it's a small, it's a much smaller number than America. Well, that's, I mean, if other nations want to do it, that's up to them. But speaking from personal experience through the VA, which is the closest thing that we have in this country to a nationalized government funded oh, it's, it's, it's medical garbage. system. Yeah, the VA has been garbage for years, and guess what? It still fucking is. And I've seen firsthand how government-provided medical care is. And I'm telling you, if people think that they want that in this country, they are absolutely batshit crazy. They do not know what the fuck they're asking for. They really don't. Yeah, I mean, I've had to uh, drop... Like, there's a friend of mine that I had to take to the VA and back a few times... The most ridiculous thing about it is, like, they have these giant fucking hospitals here. But they don't have any fucking staff. So you go there, and there's, like, three people waiting, and it looks like a fucking ghost town. And you're sitting there for, like, five hours before you can see a doctor. It's, it's, I just, I was, it was unbelievable. Yeah, well, I mean, people have literally died. Like, I mean, there's this old phrase, uh or meme or whatever where it's like the VA giving you a second chance to die for your country 
And that's really like it how it is sometimes, man. Like they will they do not give a fuck about you. They will try to fuck you out of every, you know, out of every uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Out of everything that you should have, every benefit that you should have, uh, every positive aspect of this you should have. And uh, like I said, uh, if people truly think that our government, especially in its current state, could handle a nationalized healthcare system for every citizen, they they don't know what they're signing up for. <clears throat> and the bad thing about it is, is that most of these people who are hollering for that also want it for illegal immigrants. Yeah, that's that's kind of a newer age thing that's been happening. I mean, don't get me wrong, dude. I think if you are dying, you should be able to get medical treatment and not be put into bankruptcy in order to do so. And I think if you have cancer or something like that, I don't think that there should be an industry around really, truly profiting on people's suffering due to no, you know, no decision making of their own. But people who who think that it should that we're going to somehow make it to where, oh, it's free and you're not going to suffer for it or whatever. Like, no, that's just that's not financially or economically viable or feasible for our nation to yeah. do. Well, so like recently in the news, they were talking about how because of the, the way that who just kind of took China's word for shit that uh, Donald Trump's like, fuck funding them. Right. Because China lied, like it was, it, it's almost everybody agrees on that. That it's not a like a complete uh, partisan hack. Uh, but I've I've had problems with the uh, the World Health Organization before that because they always rate America's health uh, care way lower than it should be. They they put us like well, in do like, you see that we that that Trump mm, fucking took funding from the WHO? Yeah, no, that's why I brought it up and. Uh, there's other reasons to do it because the way they rank the countries, they, they rank it by coverage. But in America, like the actual survival rate of almost every major fucking disease that could kill you is higher than any other place in the world. You might suffer a medical bankruptcy from it, but you're going to live. Well, it's uh, would you agree with me? And Satan, feel free to tell us to shut the fuck up and jump in, man. I know me and Itzel like to talk a lot, but don't. <laughs> don't be quiet bud oh, i'm sitting but, here playing games i'm just sitting here cooking liquor <laughs> nice <laughs> but, uh but anyways like uh would either of you guys since you're i guess you're the only people here everyone else is muted or asleep but would you agree with me that i think that domestic issues need to come to the forefront in, in our current politics like you know protecting the border making the roads better our infrastructure our economy all that versus foreign aid or getting involved in foreign wars or anything like that 100 percent. well that's why trump got elected right that's what he yeah, ran well, on and that's what he's oh, been that, trying that, to that, do that was that was the that was the promises made that's yeah he didn't exactly deliver why he got elected, but that was the promises made well and so here's like I, I was sitting there saying like i don't think trump's gonna deliver on anything but i think he's partially delivered and he's also he's done what a right-wing populist is supposed to do which is ruffle the feathers of the elites in the establishment uh i know those words get said on alex jones streams um but you guys know who I'm talking about. Right. Uh, it's it's pretty fucking nuts how benign the actions he's actually taken as president have been. And how crazy the reaction has been towards anything he has done. Yeah. I don't disagree. Uh, I mean, I didn't vote for him in 2016, but I'm going to vote for him in 2020. It's it's going to be a lot of it's a fuck you vote. It's not that I really support Donald Trump. It's more that uh, the direction that the other party wants to go, where they're they're sitting there, they're getting in bed with these crazy critical theorists that want to, quite literally, right? It's in their own writings, uh, up in Western civilization as we know it. Uh, yeah, fuck them. In fact, uh, that's my motto for 2020. Uh, Trump 2020 because fuck you. Yeah, well, I mean, at, I, I I don't think any one of us would disagree that he's pretty much a shoe in at this point. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily know, but uh, I mean, honestly, 
I just remember back in 2008, I was like, God, you know what would be fucking really awesome is if uh, Ron Paul and, like, a Dennis Kucinich, and Kucinich was a little crazy, so don't don't take that to heart. But if, if our choices between left and right, like, let's say in modern times, if it was between mm-hmm. Tulsi Gabbard and Rand Paul, even... I would be like we're in a we're in a pretty yeah. good we're in a pretty good place in America, right? When those are those are the popular political choices, but we're not even. Close I've to said that. I've said this before, and I'll say it again, dude. If Tulsi Gabbard would have got the Democratic nomination, I think I would have voted Democrat for the first time in my life. Well, I, I would have I would have only because I thought she I thought she was completely serious about ending wars. Uh, I got yeah, well, I got I, mean, I got warned about uh, thing- Obama early from the Ron Paul crowd being like. Look, all this shit where like you're th- saying things that might be libertarian friendly that you thought Obama would do, he's not gonna do. He's gonna make it worse. And uh, yeah, they were right. They were absolutely right. And I'm glad I did not jump on that bandwagon. Well, I'll say this much: uh, the only thing I disagreed with Tulsi Gabbard was uh, her whole like, we need to do something about Russia invading Ukraine type stuff, which I thought was kind of warmongering, but well, yeah. and she also thinks government is way more capable than it actually is. And that's just something you're going to get from most politicians. Even Trump thinks government's more capable than it is. And he's been, I mean, teetering, especially in this pandemic, like these trunk bucks I got, I may not have to pay taxes directly on it, but we're all going to pay for it due to inflation. You can't just throw extra money out into the economy and think that nothing's going to happen. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I want to, I saw this in the chat, uh, with a uh, hell gamer, like make healthcare nonprofit. And Oh my God, healthcare will cost one tenth, uh, or will cost one tenth the cost. Here's the thing about that: if you turn healthcare into nonprofit, you're going to remove a lot of incentives for people to go through the amount of schooling it takes. Uh, you wouldn't be able to make. You wouldn't even be able to. I think make healthcare nonprofit for the simple fact that it would take so much to, like the medical supplies, the cost of running a hospital, all that type of stuff. Like, I don't get me wrong. I I see. I can kind of, I think, guess where you're coming from, but I don't think that that would ever be what, something that would be feasible. What a, what a lot of people don't understand is that we live in the the it's it's probably the worst of all worlds. We have a, a very I call it corporatist. Uh, it's as close as you can get to economic fascism as you can uh, yeah think yeah. of right where the state heavily regulates what uh, medical professionals can do. Uh, A lot of it's passed for the sake of safety, but it's also a giant industry. So, so much of it is passed just to protect the companies that already exist. Um, Right. Well, I mean, he brought up the example. It's one of those things where there's, well, real quick, I'm going to say there's a lack of imagination as to what would happen uh, if we went more free market, right? Where you had places that were basically kidneys are us, right? There (laughs) There were doctors that just specialized in kidney stuff and they had like little things. You didn't necessarily have all these big hospitals. You had emergencies R us, and I know I'm saying R us is uh, that's kind of a joke, but right, uh, we right. don't we don't live in a, a pure free market system for healthcare. It's 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 very heavily regulated. It's very True. corporatistic uh, to the point where it protects uh, big corporations and it makes it so that innovators that want to enter the market and maybe do good, uh, it's hard for them to get in. They can't. There's, there's not a whole lot of room for them to come up with some new innovative business design to deliver health care to people for an affordable cost. And one of the things that uh, a lot of people always bring up is a LASIK eye surgery. That used to be something only for the rich. Now, that's one that's yeah. not very regulated. It, it, it does take a doctor, take somebody that knows stuff about the chit, right? Um, but it's just gotten cheaper and cheaper to the point where... Basically, any middle class person that qualifies can get LASIK if they want, and it's probably going to save them money in the long run versus buying glasses. Yep. Well, uh, and I want to point this out too in the chat. Uh, he brought he she whatever brought up a, a great point about uh, company Hell's Gamers uh, decide. Do what? Uh, Hell's Gamers a he. I'm pretty sure. Is there a chat? Oh, like, okay. Wait, 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 what, what, what the fuck is the chat? Like, what, what, who's streaming right now? 
me. It, it sell is streaming, but it's on his channel, and the link to the stream is actually up in the general a ways. But anyways, he uh the uh, Hell Gamers brought this up, and it sell just now shared it. There you go. But Hell Gamers brought this up, and it's it's a it's a valid fucking point that a company can decide that a life saving pill will cost uh, twenty thousand dollars or something when it actually co- it the cost of manufacturing and getting it out to the market is way lower. That uh, I totally agree with. Yeah, but that's only true because of things I said. It's not because mm-hmm. it's not because companies that have the material resources to make the pills uh, don't want to make it for a cheaper price. It's because government grants a monopoly on said pills. Uh, Crony capitalism. Created. And uh, in, 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 intellectual property is one thing that I don't. Well, first off, the I, the word intellectual property should never be used because there's no such thing. Um, but we can argue about whether it's justified to give copyright or patents to people. Like we can argue about that, but it's not property. Property is is, is things. They're scarce resources that are rivalrous, right? They're things that me and you could actually have to have a conflict resolution over. Not just abstract ideas that anybody could have in their head. It's not scarce at all. Like the right mixture of real materials is, is it's not property. They call it intellectual property, but doing that it's 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 a bait and switch type thing. Because once you accept that it's property, then you accept that it's stealing. For uh, and they do this to countries like like Africa has a whole bunch of people really sick and America owns a patent. And then we, we, uh, they just say, you know what, fuck it. We can't pay $20,000 a pill when we have people dying. Uh, so we're just going to make it anyway in Africa to save some more people. And then they call it theft. It's not theft. It could be something, but it's not theft. Word. Well, I think on that note, it's about time for me to hop out of here itself. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the stream to you. It's uh, 5.44 in the morning. I need to go to bed. <laughs> I got to get my day started, homie. I got work to do. Yeah, I'm going to sleep for like five or six hours and get back up. and Get back at it? I don't know what I'm going to do. Something. <laughs> Something. Word. So well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wake up and practice social distancing. <laughs> there you go. Well, it was damn good talking to you, man. Yep. Fun times. All right, everybody. Well, if uh, yeah, I'm about to end my stream here. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, uh, Dangerous Freedom and Hell for Gamers and uh, everybody else that joined the stream. Ryan himself, uh, he already left. Whatever. Um, and I may never go live on my channel again, so feel free to give me money that I will spend on stupid shit by going to streamlabs.com slash accelerate1. Uh, otherwise, man, y'all take care. I'll talk to you later.